Bam. Tech Smith. Bam. Taxmith. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Well, well, well. Good morning, good morning, chat. How does it feel to get no look sniped by chat? Feels uh, shockingly, unfortunately, like a lot of other mornings where I get no look sniped by chat. Oh, are you ordering Indian food today? No, I'm not. I'm not ordering Indian food today. No, I'm not. God damn it, chat. This is not my Indian food. Goddamn ordering TV t-shirt, okay? Holy fuck. <laughs> I can't believe you wake up early to stream to us degenerates. Yeah, fucking me neither. Goddamn fucking ping pong slinging butthole Indian food fingering motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so imagine you had a clipped thorax, but what you wanted was a fully formed five-toed foot. Well, the clipped thorax turns into a foot. Boom, Fitanari. God damn it. <laughs> you know that, uh, that when you order Indian food, you can get Kay to answer the door? Yeah, Kay uh, has a lot of social anxiety and doesn't really like to answer the door, so I offer to answer the door. In a she... world where the beans are potentially poisonous but potentially delicious. A world where the bussies are blapping and the labias are clapping. A world where the balls are blasting. This is... The Jiga Bussy Zone. <laughs> the Jiga Bussy Zone. Oh no, we're in the Jiga Bussy Zone. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> uh, when I order food, I put the notes. Just leave the food at the door. Then no one has to answer the door. I, we have to pay. Oh God. Whoa. Sorry. I think I ripped a goddamn fucking sphincter on that one. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, as as far north as I am, I there's no fucking. I'm gonna cover my fucking. There's no. Ah! <laughs> if I hadn't moved my coffee, that shot would have gone directly into my fucking coffee cup. And instead, you shot chat. Who did you hit? Just a sec. I think you hit, uh, you hit, uh, <laughs> give me your big dick. You hit Sleepy, Biggin, and Condor. Direct hit with the ping pong ball. You almost hit my fucking coffee. I just leave cash at the door because social anxiety. Now that's that's the real fucking trick right there. <laughs> Do you live in fear of the balls? I've lived in fear of balls my whole life. Terrifying things. Just wear the shirt next time and see what happens. Nah, I don't want to. What if it gets weird? Listen, the guy has asked me to wear this shirt like two or three times now. And I worry that if I wear this shirt when I get the Indian food, it's going to get... Okay, I know it's already really weird, but it's... I think it could get weirder. I think there are depths of weirdness we haven't explored, and I'm uninterested in exploring it. I don't want to lean into it. I don't want to wear it. What if it... What if it gets really weird? We need to know what happens. I'm so scared, though. <laughs> Fulfill his fantasies? Ah, I don't want to. <laughs> Explain the shirt to me, please. Oh, it's from Elden Ring. So, Elden Ring, you have these items called fingers. Um, and uh, you can leave messages for other players. And the message that got left for everyone all over Elden Ring, no matter where you went, was try finger but whole. They can't you say butt like B-U-T-T, -T, so they'd spell it this way. Try finger butt hole. This is just a message that got 
put all over Elden Ring. Oh, and then I guess the other meaning is sticking your finger in someone's anus kind of thing. Did it make sense in the context of the game? Not even at all. Not even a little bit. Just hilarity. Had no fucking, had no fucking reason to be in the game. <laughs> yeah, Behold Dog was also very good. I really did like Behold Dog. <laughs> fucking all, always dog. <laughs> Behold, dog. <laughs> I love all the dogs in Elden Ring. Oh, you mean everything, including the rocks and also nothing? <laughs> the Fortnite message really messed with the Japanese community. Really? Why? Does it not translate well or something? <laughs> All right. Listen, we've had enough of the Guild Wars music. Let's go back to my music now. Let's go back to my music. There we go. I just re-downloaded Elden Ring. I hope to do a co-op playthrough soon. Man, I... Yeah, Lies of P is is completely Hello, scratchable. I love you. I'm just going to sit here and say I love you and say hi. Oh, and hi, slay. Pedro. Oh. And yas. Yas. Holy fuck. I think my headset must be turned up really loud. This is like 5 billion goddamn decibels. Spiders were jamming last night. They turned up all the fucking volumes. <laughs> I like to think this song exactly is what the spiders were listening to. <laughs> the spiders all fucking cranked the headset and they were Social all dancing. Social stigma is the disapproval of or discrimination against an individual or group based on perceived characteristics that serve to distinguish them from other members of a society. Social stigmas are commonly related to culture, gender, race, socioeconomic class, age, BPUL orientation, body image, physical disability, intelligence or lack thereof, and health. Some stigma may be obvious while others are only revealed when I stigma balls on your chin. Keck W. Gotham. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, fucking, fucking piss. God fucking damn it. Oh, God. So fucking stupid. Uh, uh. I've already been inside his balls. There's nothing, there's no secrets between us anymore. <laughs> Tech now. Never not. mind, I've had pussy rangoon. Oh. God damn it. It's time to wake up, baby girl, and start stream. Please, somebody wake me up from the nightmare. Please, somebody wake me up from the nightmare. Wake me up. I can't wake up. And Idios redeems a bean boozle. I need to hire Look some. Joke. <laughs> Look at him suffer. <laughs> I need to hire someone to do the first half hour of stream for me. <laughs> I just, I need to find someone who can handle the first half hour of stream for me. <laughs> just use the chair. We'll just hold for 30 minutes. Yeah, you got that fucking right, Squishy. <laughs> Take me in, boss. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, Dibinki, I've seen those too. 
What the fuck, Hung? Don't point that out. <laughs> okay, all right. I guess we're going to the fucking bean cam. Holy fucking shit. God damn, it's so fucking early for a fucking bean boozle. <clears throat> Kay is off today, and uh, we have a new coffee maker, and I couldn't figure out the coffee maker, so I had to go buy some McDonald's coffee. You've been awake for a while now? That's a bold claim. What? It's a confusing coffee maker. It's not a regular coffee maker, okay? How hard can it possibly be? It's got like a thing that comes out for the beans and then it's got like the thing that goes like on top. I don't fucking know. I'm a scientist, not a barista, okay? Those are very different skill sets. They didn't teach me the first fucking thing about goddamn coffee in science school. Tech, did you read the instruction manual? No, I'm a man. I shouldn't need instruction manuals. It should be apparent to my inherent manness knowledge, okay? <laughs> now, excuse me while I eat this stupid bad bean. <laughs> Oh god, it's huge. I think this bean must have eaten another bean, and now it's twice the size. And here you are drinking McDonald's coffee. Yep. Yep. <sighs> so you're never gonna make coffee again, huh? No, I will. I'll ask Kay how to do it. She just left me alone this morning. I had to figure it out on my own, and I'm too dumb. Which bean? Tutty Freddy or Sweaty? No, it's Stinky Socks. Stinky Socks. We don't know that it's Stinky with Sweat. Could be Stinky with Cum. Do you not have Instant? No. No, and we don't have a uh, Keurig either. Kay is very environmentally conscious. I am too, but I am, I'm like fake environmentally conscious. I think about the environmentally conscious stuff, but then I don't actually want to do any of it. Kay actually does it all. So Kay makes me the environmentally conscious version of myself that I want to be. <laughs> That's a mood, right? <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend is like that too. Listen, we're trying, okay? We're trying as minimally as we feel like it. Be the K you wanna be, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, chat, the Gamba's running. I forgot to pop it up on screen, but the Gamba is going right now. Uh, there it is. Gamba, 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 Gamba. You got about a minute left, chat. What's the ratio on these beans? Uh, not good, I'm guessing. 5 to 24. Yep. Pretty bad. So when you eventually run to McD's for a coffee refill in a little, I'll take a sausage McGriddle. Thanks. Are you sure you don't want a mighty McMuffin? It looks new, and it's like all the McMuffins in one. <laughs> We recycle so rich people can refill their pools weekly and fly private jets everywhere. Yay, exactly, St. Cheddar. Will you want to make those rich people's lives harder? Fucking recycle, you slob. God damn it. Do you think they're just going to make environmentally conscious private jets? <laughs> That's not their responsibility. We lift so that they don't have to. It's the way society's worked for the past 50, 60 years, okay? CEOs have it rough, exactly. <laughs> no plastic straws for you, they need to go to space, exactly. No plastic straws, Bezos needs to go to space, again. That's poor people problems. Ah, no, I hate this, I hate this. <laughs> Ooh. Hey 
guys, Tangy now has a $10 coin pack for easy TTS. Don't spend $14 on bits anymore, and instead do it directly through the Tangia site. <gasps> Whoa. Tangia movements. All right. Tech, you look like a guy that eats a shit ton of edibles. Nice. I just smoke a lot. I just, uh, I take rips on the bong. Edibles aren't my thing, but that bong. <laughs> I do like me a bong. <laughs> what a compliment. That's an incredible comp. Lavender. Lavender. Lavender and clove, okay? I do not support the consumption of cannabis on Twitch.tv. Even if you're Canadian like me, and even if it's legal where you live like hey, me. Listen. Shut up, Navi. No matter how legal it is, I still don't condone it. I would never, myself. <laughs> okay, I gotta eat this stupid bean, okay? Yeah, I know, we're stalling. We gotta eat the fucking bean, let's go. Oh. Oh. Fuck, turn the guy, turn, I can't fucking do that music. Holy fucking shit, I'll die. Oh. Oh. Tutti Fruit, no, it was, it was fucking Sinky Socks. <laughs> Gross, fucking disgusting. Oh. Oh. Blah. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. No. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. No, I, listen, I'll take that compliment. <laughs> it was stinky socks. <laughs> I feel your pain. I just had cinnamon toast crunch. God, I was just thinking about that fucking delicious cereal the other day. Truly one of the all-time best cereals. Oh, fuck. That fucking... Oh, boy. Oh, it's like, I, it's like I'm sweating old sweat in my mouth. Can you keep your bad bean reactions under one minute so I can clip them? Thanks. Oh yeah, sorry, Metalist. I don't want to make your life more complicated. I'll try to I'll try to tone it fucking back. Ugh. No fuck. It's a fake. It's a fake. There's no way it's real. It's fake. <laughs> I fuck I could tell it was fucking Barlow. I could just fucking tell. I knew that was a Barlow fake out. I fucking I have knew a it. Pussy! Well, Tech, do something about that then, bud. How do you know if it's going to happen? I, I really don't. It's a double fake out. Fucking ass. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, gross. No, that was the Tangier Dan Bean Boozle Ball. Ew, gross. Oh, Fuck. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking piss, man. Bumped right off your head. It hit my fucking cheek, man. I got. God. There's no fucking. Did you just try to. Ah! You'll just keep making that sound. 
Did you just try to shoot me while I was fucking reloading, you piece of shit? <laughs> Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable, JT motherfucking C. No, 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 Stop shooting me! God. Stop blapping me with your balls. Not your gamer head. I know. Why would I protect my head with my gamer head? I don't need this shit for video games, but these things are precious. I should I should block the shots to my hands with my face. <coughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Holy fucking shit, bud. Get your face in there, I will. I gotta protect my, my precious money making hands. You think gaming skill like this grows on trees? Do the ping pong balls hurt or is it more of a, just a shock? Uh, on the back of my head, it's just a shock. On my finger, it was it was a little stingy. <laughs> I was shocked at how much uh, at, at how much I felt it on my poor little fingy. <laughs> they sound heavy. The sides of the head, um, the sides of the head, uh, definitely. I can feel that thwap a bit more. <laughs> nice shirt planning on ordering food today i wish i'd never told you guys that fucking story now <laughs> um okay now uh i was about to do something oh yeah i know what i was gonna do i was gonna thank all my subs from yesterday because uh i got a little carried away a little carried away near the end of stream and definitely forgot about the you know half the fucking subs yesterday He's been planning to go to Walmart and order food. God damn it, Frey. God damn it. <laughs> Honestly, it's just really making me want curry. Fuck. <laughs> really? That doesn't sound like you. Thank you, Snadge. I accidentally resubbed in the middle of the night. Did that count? Oh, Voided, did you? Yeah, no, I actually booted up my stream for five minutes to uh, thank you for that. Didn't you see me turn? The yeah, no, I woke up and I turned the stream on just to thank you, Voided Cat. For the 38 months. <laughs> Maxwell, 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 Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you read my mm, sub message? I did, Vintage Gaze. I don't remember it now, but I definitely did because it's 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 check marked. You know what? You know what we didn't show off last Friday? Maxwell, 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 well, Lydian, uh, if you're here, uh, well done. <clears throat> and if you're not, I apologize that I didn't read that yesterday. I should never have given you guys the three-part harmony. That that one's on me, and I apologize have ever having done that. I should not have done that for you, or to you, or to me. Tin is or thank you for the 10 months. Yo it Joe, thank you for the 10 months. Black Lagoon, thank you for the 20 months. <clears throat> you should make it four parts. No, I will never. No. No, I will not do part four. I will now. I will not do the fourth part. No. 
Uh uh. Uh uh. Nope. Nope. No. Now, see, I gave you guys, <laughs> I gave you guys the third part harmony as a test, and it failed. And now I do not want to give the fourth part. The desire to sing is growing. This is the story about a man who dreamt of making a living streaming video games for a living. <laughs> Little did he know that the internet is ruthless. Ping pong balls to the back of his head. Terrible tasting beans. Repeating audio. He is in a biblical limbo. <laughs> this is his story. <laughs> biblical limbo. Yep. Real. <laughs> Squid thing over the 34 months, toxic thing over the 22 months. Uh, Jaminos or Yaminos thing over the 23 months. <gasps> Almost trapped with tech and chat forever. Almost Jaminos. Uh, Mystify thing over the nine months. Please take your fingers out of my butthole. Oh, okay. You just had to ask. <clears throat> I have a $1,000 Patreon sub that says you'll make a falsetto release. <sighs> that would be very hard for me to argue with. I will say that. If it had a falsetto, it would sound good. The reason you hate it now is because it's missing the falsetto. You know this to be true. You are just afraid of what it will become. I am afraid of what it will become, man. You kidding me? Mr. Gig, thank you for the 24 months. Welcome. To the last place you'll ever be for the rest of your life. Goku, thank you for the 23 months. I almost got Goku down there now. <clears throat> hey, Tech, I see you're wearing the shirt today. Got errands to run later? Holy fuck. I got to stop telling you guys about this dumb shit I do in real life. <laughs> because when I, when I just do it in real life, I do it and then I move on. But when I tell you guys, I get to be reminded of it forever. I get to kind of relive it. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know what a falsetto release is. Uh, it's when you're like, uh, ah! right? You're like almost, almost, ah! like that. <laughs> uh, Subzilla, thank you for the gift. It's up to Dustman and Eddie, thank you for the five months. <laughs> Now just do that with Maxwell. No, absolutely not. I'm turning on Starfield chat. We're doing we're doing Starfield today. We're trying to in, in, infiltrate the the pirates. Okay. I'm trying to pretend like we're a bad guy. Tell me, I'm the only one who doesn't know the the T-shirt story. <clears throat> Um, say Starfield like you would say Garfield. Starfield, Garfield, it's a Canadian thing. <clears throat> We're gonna play Starfield today. Maybe we can get Garfield in there. <laughs> hi, TechSmith. Oh, hi. I'm just calling to let you know that I'm here with your Indian food. All oh, I need no. is for you to answer the door and the tri finger butthole shirt. No, no. To confirm that I'm delivering this no. to the right person. No, Thanks. no, 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 no. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, I have this shirt, right, that says tri fingers butthole. Very, very funny reference to a video game that I love a lot. <clears throat> and one day, <clears throat> I had to go to Walmart to pick some things up. Now, the thing is, is you need to understand Canadian Walmarts are very clean, very professional places of commerce. These are not the American style Walmarts, which are the unleashed fourth circle of hell. 
So I was in a clean, respectable Walmart walking around with my tri fingers butt hole shirt. <clears throat> and I needed help buying paint thinner. <laughs> and then I realized that I was wearing this shirt. So my uh, response was to then bunch up my shirt like this and walk around like I had fucking heartburn. I was like, ooh, yeah, could you show me where the paint thinner is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to... <laughs> I need some paint thinner. <laughs> and then I went to Subway, forgot that I was still wearing the shirt, said, Can I get two meatball subs? I want two foot long meatball subs. And then I got home and I realized that I was wearing this shirt and I was like, fuck, man, everybody in, I live in a very small town. Everybody in town saw me fucking walking around with a tri fingers butthole shirt and there's no way they know it's an Elden Ring reference. They probably think I'm wearing a shirt that says, hey, try sticking your finger in my butt. So anyways, I was like, God, I can't believe that I did that. So then I ordered some Indian food. <clears throat> Indian food delivery guy shows up and he opens the door and uh, as soon as he opens the door he looks at me looks down points at my chest and just starts laughing and then looks at me in the eyes like <laughs> there was no chance this guy knew Elden Ring no chance zero chance this guy knew Elden Ring man he was laughing. <laughs> How do you know? Trust me. There's a kind of laugh that a human has when they're laughing about sticking fingers in buttholes that you know is unrelated to video games. <laughs> you can just fucking tell that this had nothing to do with games. This, yeah, this was just the... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... I order Indian food. Dude, you look like Victor Creed. Aw, thank you. I don't know who that is. <laughs> um. <laughs> so then uh, a couple weeks later, I order Indian food again and I wasn't wearing the shirt. Uh, oh, Sabretooth. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who that is. I order the, I order Indian food again and I deliberately wear a different shirt. I open up the door and the guy goes, where's the shirt? I was like, no, God, this can't be, this can't be the way that it goes. I order Indian food again a couple months later. The same guy delivers my food. The same guy opens the door, looks at my shirt and goes, next time you order delivery, definitely wear the shirt. What? What? You can't, my delivery guy is telling me what I need to wear in order to accept delivery food. What the fuck is happening? Dude, it almost sounded like a threat. <laughs> to be totally honest, it almost sounded, it had a little bit of a tone like, hey, next time wear that shirt. Wear it. <laughs> You're the butthole guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he wants to take a pick. His coworkers don't believe him. You're probably right, but I don't want to be that guy's trophy story, okay? <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, listen, okay. He also asked what I do for a living, and I told him that I'm a streamer, and then he asked what my channel name was. He's in here right now. <laughs> no, I, I told I told him my channel name was Seth Drums. <laughs> I told him my name. <laughs> no, I did not tell him my name was Seth Drums. That's just a good idea. I saw someone in chat say that I wish I'd thought of when the time was when the time was upon me. <laughs> you told him the truth? 
kinda. <laughs> I I gave him I gave him kind of a rough idea of the channel name. And basically, if he figures it out and he's here, uh, then we know. We know he's a real fan. Just look on the front page. You'll find hey, me. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. <clears throat> it was funny, though, because I told him I was a streamer. He's like, oh, how many subs do you have? A thousand? Ten thousand? A hundred thousand? Do you have a million subs? <laughs> 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 42 subs. <laughs> no, you're not going to be a creepy stalker fan. Good day to you. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck. Hello. These missions keep going sideways. Okay, listen, chat. Anyways, that's the fucking Trifingers butthole shirt. What was Kay's reaction to all of this? Not as serious as I think she needs to be, okay? This is a trying tribulation of my life and Kay needs to be more on board with my suffering. Tech desperately avoids any form of doxing, also tells people he doesn't know IRL who he is online. Yeah, but they only know my online name. They could never fucking put the two pieces of info. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I enjoy how you were like, fuck me, I wish I never told you that story, doubles down and tells it again. Yeah, I hate the story and I hate that you know it, but it is a pretty fucking funny story. I, I, I even I'm aware enough to know that yeah that's a pretty fucking pretty fucking funny story. <laughs> it have oh yeah that's what Kay thinks. Kay thinks it's a very funny story, which is only half of it. Okay, it's funny and awful. Did you wear that shirt when you went to McDonald's today? Yes, I did. Thank God I had a fucking hoodie on because I forgot I was wearing this shirt again. But I did have a hoodie on. Thank fucking God. Holy shit. He keeps doing it. I know. See, I actually, when I see this shirt hanging in my rack, I bypass it 99 times out of 100 because I know I can't be trusted. It's like a siren song. If I wear this goddamn shirt, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna be weird. I, this, I wish I wish there I wish that wasn't true until you need to go outside then that's the outside shirt yeah that's true <laughs> uh, okay listen chat <laughs> no I listen I'll be even weirder okay listen I've got that monster hunter now game which means that I basically drive around my town at four kilometers an hour, playing on my phone, <laughs> catching monsters, stopping outside of people's houses, clicking on my phone for a while, driving 20 feet, clicking on my phone for a little while. Dude, people get real fucking unnerved. <laughs> How is that? It's amazing. It's so good. What game is this? Monster Hunter Now. It is fucking fantastic. It's definitely one of the best mobile games I've ever played. Uh, I love Monster Hunter, so it's super good. Yeah, it's like Pokemon Go, but Monster Hunter. So better in every single way. Pokemon Go with a different license? Yeah, but it's got like all the Monster Hunter fighting shit. God, if you're on the news getting arrested in that shirt for trespassing while playing Monster Hunter Mobile, what? I would be the mo I would be I would be the archetypical online the internet streamer. Especially because all of you guys would be clamoring, "No, no, he's a really good guy. No, it's a misunderstanding. No, he's a really nice guy. He's not 
It would be the full package. It'd be the entire story. Yeah, do I have a friend code? Don't I have a friend code? Friends? Uh, Shadow Wizard Money Gang interrupting this broadcast to tell you about TechSmith 314's latest sponsor, Volos. <laughs> Think you have oh. nothing left of worth in a world of capitalism and greed? Have a dark desire that is unmet? Save scum in a game just to kill everyone for no reason? Then reload the save like you didn't just commit genocide? Join the cult of Volos today. Hey, it's a cult of Volos. You kind of missed, you said Volos that second time, but that's okay. <laughs> we are getting real close to Halloween season, which is fucking Volos's time of year. I've got some very, very, very exciting stuff. <laughs> uh, Tex monster hunter now friend code is uh three four one seven two seven four two seven zero seven seven uh cool uh exclamation mark mon hun exclamation mark mon hun see if it works there you go Techno, that's your credit card. Ah, that's the same thing. Ah, forget it. <laughs> There's my Monster Hunter mobile, uh, Monster Hunter Now friend code. Um, and uh, please let us hunt anytime. I love the game. Super, super fun. You're gonna get it at Edu? Yeah, please do. Sent? Awesome. I'll accept them all after stream today. The game is super, super fun. I have been, I have been cruising around, fucking scooping up monsters. Very, very fun. <clears throat> okay, now. When are you gonna get to maps and PoE? Kitava is waiting. Oh my God, metal. I am fucking melting Path of Exile these days. Holy shit. Make sure it doesn't send geolocations based off gameplay. Oh yeah, Sir Connie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, although I will say, like... Now, yeah, listen, the, the whole fucking... That's all complicated. I'll, I'll make sure, I'll make sure, though, that we're all good. Yo, <clears throat> back. So how did it go? Uh, I've successfully infiltrated the Crimson Fleet. I'm confident this plan is going to work. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Uh, are you sure if it's safe if I pass you this information? You guys remember we're looking for like a giant pirate score of goodies? I understand your concern, <clears throat> but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. Uh, so what is this game? I know nothing about it. I mean, it's basically like a standard Bethesda game, except in space. Um... The general story of the main campaign is we find these rocks that give me magic powers and nobody understands why. But right now I'm doing a side quest um, where I've infiltrated pirates and I'm gonna learn all their dirty secrets and report it to uh, these guys. Is it new? Oh yeah, super new. Hey, good morning, Cupcake Princess. Basically Fallout in space, exactly. Um... Delgado is searching for a gal bank ship named Legacy that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Oh yeah, it's totally Crix's legacy. It's at the end of a giant rainbow stretching through space, and you have to get it from three witches. I understand your sarcasm. 
But you can't deny that this data involves both Cricks and Legacy. <coughs> In my mind, it bears further investigation. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Uh, why does that other guy's voice sound familiar? I know a lot of these voice actors, I think, have been in other stuff. Uh, story or not, Delgado believes it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Uh, I'm supposed to board the Starliner to steal Galbank archive credentials. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No, let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. All right, then I'll just do it. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. I know now isn't the best time. I bet operations on me <laughs> what I would never kill everybody on the ship <laughs> did any of the vanguard faction quests at all no not yet nope <laughs> don't why though yes you would no <laughs> what are you talking about I don't know what you're doing it doesn't sound oh, like me I know now isn't the best time I need to talk with him later. Oh my god. All right. We'll fucking talk to Barrett. Holy shit. Oh my god. This dude has been fucking all over my Is ass. On the schedule today? No, mining's not on the schedule. I got to talk to Barrett. God damn it. Where's Barrett? Hi, Barrett. Hey, look at that. I found him. He wants to talk about his feelings? God, no. Hey, so I thought you might like this. I hope you do. For me? Thank you. I had almost forgotten I picked it up for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. What is it? Thanks. You're quite welcome. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Is it bigger? Is it bigger? Did I do it? Fuck, I didn't see what I got. <laughs> Would you give? He gave me a thing of chicken masala. Barrett has been constantly, constantly distracting me during missions. He must know what shirt you're wearing. This is the fucking worst. This is the fucking worst. God damn it. He saw I was wearing my fucking butthole shirt. And so he figured he'd give me some goddamn Indian food. <laughs> God damn it. You look like ah, fuck. I hate this ship. Get me out of here. All right, let's go. 
I love that I've been on vacation and this is what I re return to. It's ah! I crashed my ship into their ship. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. It'll buff out. I don't know, man. I was going really fast and I don't know why. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, let's fucking go. God damn. You need to go to a spaceport and swap ships. Oh, is that how you do it? Fuck, I was wondering when I'd get my real ship back. Fuck, okay, all right. Um, right. Let's go to a ship port so I can fucking switch my ships over. Holy fuck, I hate this stupid ship. I want my real ship back. Jemison, let's go. Uh... Wait, you earned that ship? Uh, Tipsy Pirate? Actually, I got the ship as part of a quest line that I was doing. So I'm infiltrating the Crimson Fleet to try to under uh, uncover their secrets. When a settlement looks so... Hey, um, and Barrett, you're not busy? Let's chat. Why? So you can give me some more fucking curry, bud? Um... As part of the yes. quest line, I got this prison transport ship. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Um, yeah, I don't I don't even know what you're talking about, Barrett, but whatever, man, don't worry about it. Let's not talk about well, it. Well, it left a lasting impression on me, I suppose. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. And that's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Uh, yeah, I'm super glad to be part of the team, Barrett. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Uh, yes, I do like cookies. That sounds They're so good. One of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Uh-huh. Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. God. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Um. Thanks, Barrett. Just figured I'd mention it. No. We haven't had much time to chat before. I'm you not know, flirting with him. He's been bothering me this whole me fucking time. Opportunities. And a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Uh, yeah, everybody's lost somebody to part. Oh, fuck. Uh, um, uh, it's impossible to know what would have happened. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Sorry, Barrett, I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. Now, this is like really I've deep shit. I've my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. Holy fuck, I'm man. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Okay, sounds good. Wow, that got really fucking heavy for, uh, you know, the landing platform of the commercial district. But, uh, you know, uh, I'm glad you felt, I'm glad you felt comfortable enough to talk about it there, bud. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? 
Go get Sam back? Don't I need to have Barrett with me for a while? Uh, spaceport. There we go. I think we need to have Barrett until I get, um... To a certain point in the, uh... That is convenient. But riding right thing. after eating can give you stomach aches. Press H? Whoa! Oh my god! How do I make it my... How do I make this my, um... My main ship? H. Uh, I have to talk to the ship technician. Okay, that's what I thought. Frick. Every time I see that statue, I feel a little bit more. Can't really explain why. Barrett. Barrett, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing main story shit just Everyone so I can space replace space. Barrett Scumbag. with good old Sam Co. Ship technician. Hey, what can I got anything hey there, you need bud. to offload? Trader hey there, is bud. always buying. Kiosk. Uh, right. view and modify okay, my no ships. Problem. I want to go here. Uh, make home ship H. There we go. There we go. Bye there, bud. Oh, big mama. Oh, big mama. What a huge fucking ship, man. I love this ship. One of these days, I gotta go make a new one. Make it even bigger and better. Can't wait to get another ship. I know, it's super wonderful. I love the ships in this game. I need to make a billion credits. That's exactly as we left it, right? I need to make a billion credits so that I can uh, build like the biggest, baddest motherfucking ship. <laughs> My name is Baron, and I like curry and cookies. Can you make bigger mama? You know, when I unlock the really good ship parts and all that kind of stuff, I could totally make a bigger mama. Music reminds me so much of Fallout. I mean, it's got those Bethesda vibes in that music, right? I see you have the Mantis armor, but not the ship. I got the ship yesterday. Is there something wrong with it? No, nope, I just sold it for money. <laughs> I wanted money more than I wanted the ship because I like my ship. Boop. Jump. <clears throat> um, where do you sell ships? At the ship technician. So if you go to the ship technician and you say buy, sell ships, at the bottom you can switch from buy to sell and then you can sell ships. Doc. Got it. Yeah, my, I built my ship to have a ton of storage, a ton of speed and mobility, and a lot of guns. <clears throat> can you also steal ships? You can, absolutely. Uh, board. Yeah, you can board and steal ships, yep, and then you can sell them. Although apparently they only sell for like three to five K and it costs one to two K to register them. So you don't end up making a ton of money from stealing ships. Uh, which one has the most bullets? Well, that one has a lot of bullets. Oh yeah, this is my new gun. Ooh, what's that? Synth the meat chicken. It has sucks you have to register a ship before you can sell it. Yeah. Hey, do you have to register ships? Can you sell ships to the Crimson Fleet without registering them? I wonder if maybe that's the way to make more profit from them. Hey Long there, Ben. You showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when 
Viv and I are closing in on a huge score of our own. Delgado orders me to help you out. Um, well, I'm just following Delgado's orders. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Um... <laughs> what if I just tell him? <laughs> Neva asked me to steal the Earth Savior Award. Do you think he'd help me or do you think he'd hinder me? Because he see this guy gives me big, I don't give a fuck about my job kind of energy. Maybe he'd help me. Quick save? Uh, can you quick save in conversation? No, sadly. Tell it, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to steal the Earth Savior Award. Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Um, without her, you're also never getting back into the fleet. This is important. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a gall bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average crimson fleet prey. Why the interest? <laughs> Wonder all you want. That's all the information you're getting. Yeah, what the hell? Do you think I'm just going to tell you the whole fucking deal, bud? Uh, yeah, wonder all you want. That's all the information you're getting there. Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. You want credits? Hugs? What? <laughs> yeah, hug would be great. I'd help you guys out if you could give me a little hug. Is he standing or leaning? I think he's leaning. It's kind of cool that you can even get married in this game. That's super cool. Um, yeah, you obviously have something specific in mind. He's got something that he wants. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Um... Tech, when are you going to do voice acting for Bethesda? Oh my god, if they would have me, I'd do it right now. Uh, you really think I have the ability to promise something like that? No, actually, this probably is not a great idea. Because if I do this, he's going to realize that I have no power. And I'm not the guy to ally himself with. Um... This is tough. Should I use this? I mean, they give me the option for this, which means I think it probably has more effect. Let's fucking threaten them. You're in no position to make demands right now. Just do as you're told. Fine. You want to play it that way? Society Charity Gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, 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 this is my cue. Step aside, mortals. Barrett is here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to turn off Tangius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Star Trek days are no Tangia days. My bad. <laughs> okay, I got it. Whoops. 
Hi Tech, I'm currently sitting in an open collab space at work, listening to you on my laptop through my headset, playing with fire today. Hope my headset doesn't die. Man, ammo, you are playing with a live fire. Holy shit. Nah, it's okay. It's a Star Tech day. It probably won't get that cursed. I don't see myself talking about. <sighs> yeah, it's probably fine. Um, I didn't bring my dinner jacket. Yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Uh, hey, as long as there's free booze, right, bud? Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Um. <laughs> uh, no, all right, Aristotle. That's toxic, man. How dare you bring that up now, bud? Did you tell Kay she's your alpha and that she should claim you by biting your neck and popping that scent gland? God damn it, ammo. God damn it, ammo. <laughs> Fucking what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Pardon me? I don't know. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that would be lovely, my dear. That would be amazing. Um. Okay, just a sec. I gotta ask if this guy can help me with the Earth Savior Award. Combo, yeah. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? I don't have any. St I've just gotten started. Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Bowl. Ooh. I'd press her to reveal yeah. where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. Okay, sounds good. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen, <laughs> not fresh. <laughs> Hi. Hello, my darling. Hi. I cleaned the coffee maker this morning. I saw you did. But then I realized I have no idea how to make anything at less than a full pot of coffee. Oh yeah, I get that. So I sat there with all the coffee beans. Yeah, okay. And I was like, I actually have no capacity to make the coffee for myself. So I went to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, getting up and getting ready to make coffee and the coffee machine is totally clean and ready to, oh man. <laughs> it was awesome. It was yeah. awesome. I was going to remark on it. That's so funny. That's yeah. So funny. Yeah. Well, now I brought you a bunch of coffee. Awesome. And you do have to drink all of it. I do have to drink all of it, so yes. So that, uh, you know, you face speed with Bobby. Exactly. Um, uh, I got... Yeah. Totally. Um, have you heard of the Omegaverse? The Omegaverse? Yeah, with the Alpha, Beta, Omega. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I've just never heard of that. See? Never Can't... heard of it one time. <laughs> I don't know its origins and which show it started as as a fandom sort of moment. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about see, it. I don't not I've teach you. I've never even seen Supernatural. See? Look at this shit. I don't have to teach. I had to look it up. I'd never. That's because you've had a better experience. <laughs> <laughs> Chat called me an Omega, and I didn't know what that was. I don't, okay, I don't know what they mean, 
though. Oh, okay, what, gotcha. What does it involve? Don't, you don't want okay, to know. It's yeah, okay. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know there's three <laughs> categories. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm not going to say the other things I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. So, anyways, so chat, chat teaches me about all sorts that, of things. How, yeah. I mean, that can just come up whatever, I guess. Uh, truly, yeah. Oh, exactly, oh, yeah. Um, so funny. Chat's so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, what does your shirt say? Foking you up since 1990. Yeah. Righteous Babe Records. Oh, that's Ani DeFranco, right? Yeah. 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 Ani DeFranco oh, shirt. little babe on the back. Yeah. Ani DeFranco shirt. I need a Franco shirt. I need a Franco shirt. Does anyone in chat know who I need a Franco is? Oh my god. Show yourselves. Show yourselves. <laughs> Any Ani Re- DeFranco heads? Any <laughs> Ani DeFranco heads? <laughs> Yay! Hey! Yeah! Know, yes, but I am old. Yes, but I'm old. Um Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of people who know who uh uh who uh, Ani DeFranco is. She's, That's great. She's fairly new, right? I know, which is funny, because, like, in the folk scene, nobody's major, but I that's know. the kind of the whole idea. That's true. Exactly, that's yeah. True. Yeah, that's great. We saw her live one time. Yeah. In Victoria. Yeah, she's a lot more, like, big business intense at shows. Big business intense? She was pretty straight on. Well, because so. she's got like a hundred people guitars. working for oh, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like, there's like guys tuning guitars and yeah. setting them and getting we all the things. We were in a great seat because we were up like uh, on the side of the stage, elevated, and so we could see into the wings a little bit. So we could see the people like messing with all of her guitars. Exactly. Great. Yeah. No, it was super cool. Uh, Be um, quiet. Ah! No, not my baby! Ah! Wow! Who did that? That almost got into the car. Who did that? Uh, Band them! <laughs> Band them! Wow! Uh, I can't believe you almost got another ping pong ball in my coffee. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, wait, another? Yeah, I had to protect my coffee against ping pong balls wow. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you got me. That actually... Yeah, that was impressive. You even shifted. <laughs> I know. You fucking hit me right in the fucking noggin. <laughs> <laughs> Got your money's right there. <laughs> Noggin shot. Noggin shot, man. God. Yeah, Tangias are all off, uh, except that the ping pong ball cannon is still fully operational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel that won't interrupt the story, probably. It probably won't, exactly. It be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I already saw the. I'm having a Pavlovian response to the shirt. I already saw. Yeah, chat. <laughs> like, I could really go for a nice. Exactly right, chat. As soon as uh, this. That. Oh. Nothing. As soon as chat saw my shirt, everyone's like, "Oh my god, you getting Indian food tonight? Yeah. Wow, must be Indian food tonight." <laughs> And then my fucking uh, NPC buddy gave me uh, chicken masala. <gasps> I know, I couldn't Whoa. believe it. Oh, you can <laughs> even in the far distant future of space. Exactly. You cannot There's escape no the way power to escape the shirt. No. I'm gonna go somewhere where the camera won't bonk into things. Oh, give it a berry to curl. Ah, oh my god, this coffee is so much better than McDonald's coffee. Oh, <laughs> oh god, it's so good. Our coffee. Yeah. Our coffee. yeah. These cups cool it off. They do, yeah. The yeah. cup gets very hot. The cup gets very hot. You gotta yeah. just place your lip on yeah. the thing. On the lip, as it were. <laughs> I was hoping Kay would have walked in with a mask and robot <laughs> and gave you coffee. <laughs> oh, not awake enough for such clever moves. <laughs> McDonald's coffee is awful. I actually don't mind it. I gotta tell you, sometimes I actually really like McDonald's coffee. All about the context. It is. The context matters. It does. Right? Yeah. When you want really nice coffee, it'll let you down. But when you just want coffee, it's so satisfying. Say it's very early and you're traveling. Yeah. Right. Say you're going out to the lake. <laughs> I was just <laughs> gonna just, say, yeah. I know, right? If you're gonna go fishing, it is like fantastic. Context is important. Yeah. Context yeah. Is 
I know. Tim Hortons also has that dark roast. Yeah, Tim Hortons has good dark roast, but like a lot of the Tim, we, there's, of course, because we live in Canada, there's 46 Tim Hortons where we live. Yes. But not all of them are very good. No. Uh, and the one that's closest to us kind of sucks. Yeah, but they try. I feel like part of the reason that they suck is that they don't try. Oh, that might be. <laughs> yeah, but they do work. They're open. They're open. They are, they are open. Um, they are working. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Does Canada have Dunkin' Donuts? Um, I don't think so. It, it, like, maybe in Toronto, sort of level. You know what I mean? I don't think we do. I think no. it's a. I think it's an anti. I think they have a long, you know, Tim and, yeah, Tim and Duncan. Yeah, I think so. Man, I saw this uh, drink at Dunkin' Donuts that's like forty-seven grams of sugar. Okay. Um, for a drink, and it's like eating a box of donuts okay, as yes. the drink. Yes. That is For when so... you really gotta run fast. Yeah, right? It's like 2K calories plus. Yeah, holy fuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. 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 It is in, It is an entire day's worth of calories in, in the one... Drink. In the drink. Yeah, the pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. Wow. Man. Impressive. What's that for? <laughs> that is so much sugar in a drink, man. In my younger days, I would have loved that thing. Nice. There's, I feel yeah. like you wouldn't be able to taste anything out else. Yeah, I agree. Of sweet. It would Definitely. just be a total sweet override. <laughs> That's for Americans! <laughs> I know. Like, Canada, yeah, no. Canada, yeah, no. Canada, Canada's like, we can't have a Dunkin' Donuts here. Dunkin' Donuts is like, but we have this 2,000 calorie drink. And Canada's like, yeah, you're not allowed to. We can't have. Yeah, we can't have that. Here. Can't have that here. Can't, that's that's we not. Can't be doing that's that. not legal food in our country. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I now now we're gonna get all of the list of. Uh, we can get a big, you know, Seven Eleven Slurpees. Yeah, give me them Seven Eleven Slurpees and Seven Eleven chicken wings. Um, <laughs> now we're now we're on a tangent, but there's gotta be a lot of sugar in those bad boys. Yeah, yeah, true. But they waste a lot of space with ice and water. That's true. Right? You're right. No. You're right. Someone asked the difference between uh, in flavor, between dark roast coffee and light roast coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would say dark roast is more toasty tasting, uh, more bitter, less sour. I was going to say, the light roast has a real acidic, sharp yeah. yeah, I really, I really don't like the acid. Some people like it. Like some people really. It makes so much sense because we like the bitter. It. Yeah, we like the bitter. So yeah, of course. Yep, yeah, exactly. Oh, text with three thirteen. What? Um... I just make my coffee. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, three thirteen. Hey, you're no. not a loser. Don't get down on yourself. Yeah, come on, three thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I like a nice, smooth, light roast. Yeah. You know, I'm sure there might be I some, bet. right? Well, and here's the other thing, is we often do have it black. So I bet when we add true. a little uh, milk. Here. Yeah, um, yeah, we always have our coffee black, so. No sugar, no cream, no nothing. Yeah. Whereas maybe a lighter roast would be nicer with those things. I bet, right? Yeah. yeah. Or for example. We used to put uh, some of those flavored creamers in our coffee when we were in um, Nelson. Wow, when we had just, that was the first, wow. That makes sense, I think I vaguely remember. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. I remember we used to get, get them at Burrell's. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. I remember their smell now. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, nope, I <laughs> wouldn't do that again. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that I, yeah, again. I don't no, care that's that a, flavor anymore. No, yeah. that's, like a, that's like a sweet treat drink. It's not a coffee. It's not a coffee. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a Getting dizzy. Wow. Yeah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Fixed. Fixed. Oh. Fixed. Good old Bobby Chicago. Bobby Chicago with her badass tattoo. Right? I'm jealous of her tattoo. Although you got a beard there. That's true. Yeah, I'd have to shave off the beard to get a cool tattoo like that. Or you could have it disappear up into the beard. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Saddest part of my day is the last sip of coffee. I kind uh, of never run into the last sip of coffee, to be honest. Do you uh, always leave a bit at the bottom? 
Well, there's just, we drink a lot of coffee each day. <laughs> I know. Right? I drink my cup of coffee in the morning, and I don't finish the whole cup before it's time to come downstairs for stream. So I yeah. pour that coffee into my thermos, That's then I right. top it up with more coffee. Then usually before that coffee's ended, you bring some more coffee, which I can't finish before the end of stream. So I never experienced yeah. the last sip of coffee, yeah. man. You're living that diner life. I'm living, yeah. Constantly topped up. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Tech, you may need to drink some water. Coffee's like 99% water, okay? <laughs> Our have... bodies are already 70% water. The, the planet is 71% water, okay? So when you think about it. That's all, that's all the coffee. Also, I, I think it was raining earlier. Exactly. So. Very humid here. The air is very it's wet. It's very humid. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of absorb water. Exactly. <laughs> like I do love the what is it a dumper emote? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I love well, the butt twerk. Okay, the, the butt twerk is dance. Dance. Yeah, that's dance. my that's text dance. Dumper is this is a totally different thing. I dance with my butt. I had to I had to be careful with like butt I know. And all that stuff because they'll <laughs> Great. Well, Jeez. you've <laughs> activated. Yes. You've activated Donson chat. Yes. You've activated the dumper chat. <laughs> it's so good. I, I love know. it so much. It's so good, but, right? But, 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 but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bacon Dono isn't always here anymore, but every now and then she stops by. <clears throat> and one day she stopped by. She's like, I made this and I don't know why. <gasps> oh, my God. What? Yeah, it was amazing, yeah. Oh, wow. That's what happened. That's got to be basically the same as getting, like, blessed by a passing angel. Right? I agree. I think so. I bestow on you. <laughs> Bigly butts. Yep, yep. So you have no work today. I have no work today, babe. So it's a Fay Farm day yeah, for babe. you. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs. Yeah. I'm going to toast today. Yeah. I'm going to put on Faith Farm. Yeah. I'm going to put on this streamer that I like to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know him. Yeah, no, yeah. It's you. It's, um, um, yeah. I was yeah. going to make a joke about another streamer, but I actually don't know a lot of other streamers. I know I was about to do it. <laughs> and then I was like, that could get too real in a weird way. <laughs> so I'm going to not yeah. do it. <laughs> Instead. Kay's walk, yeah, Moon Moon, definitely Moon Moon, your most favorite streamer. Yeah, Moon Moon. He's I like, exactly your vibe. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Unless, is Moon Moon, hey, is Moon Moon kind of mean? Moon Moon, uh, Moon Moon is an enigma, man. Moon Moon is a- <laughs> Indescribable. Yeah, truly indescribable. Okay. Moon Moon is a streamer for people who know how to watch streamers. Wow, not an introductory, okay. No, exactly, advanced, yeah. Advanced streamer. If, if it's your first day on Twitch, don't watch Moon it's okay. Moon, man. Yeah, you need like a VHD. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. <laughs> hey, Yendar. Hey, Yendar's here. Uh, Come yeah, to exactly. Wisconsin, we'll go fishing. You know, I. Chat has invited me to go fishing in a couple different places, Seattle, Wisconsin, and I'm thinking we might need to do like a tour, a, a fishing tour, man. Yes. Right. That's so fun. Right. What a cool idea. And not everybody needs that. to go fishing, right? That's right. No, you. Yeah. Can, I mean, hey, one of my favorite ways to go fishing is to just read Stephen King. Like, exactly. Near, near some water. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. <laughs> That'll be, that's a great chat meetup. You have a bunch of people fishing and a bunch of people sitting quietly, not talking. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Perfect meetup. That's yeah. the way. That's the way. <laughs> Eyelashes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what are you, what are you doing next on the, I'm going to head upstairs and do that bay farming. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, I got to steal two things from the ship. One is an Earth Savior medallion. I yeah. need to steal that. Yeah, that seems like bad. It's uh, definitely, it's super bad guy yeah, stuff. That yeah, that's like bad guy behavior. Super bad guy okay, behavior. Okay, 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 gotta do that. But then also I need to steal the credentials from like the top person at the gal bank. Okay, where, you're, where the gals do their bank. Where the gals do their bank, <laughs> sure, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where every night. The, the pals the bank elsewhere. Yeah, no, yeah. Exactly, yeah. All gals at the bank. All the gals at this bank. Okay. Uh, I need to steal their credentials so that I can rob the bank. Sure. Yeah. Again. Not the whole bank. Oh. It's a ship full of 
more money than anybody should ever have. Oh, well, and I wanna, yeah, Exactly. Well, and I want to take that. It's pretty much like a Robin Hood sort of thing. Exactly. I'm stealing from the super rich ship to give to me. Hey, yeah, that's it. Technically, the pirates think that they're going to get it, but I'm for sure going to kill all the pirates and take the money for myself. I will bl I will fucking blow you down the entire... them all. I will out-pirate all the pirates. Bobby Chicago. Yeah. Scourge of the sky. Exactly. Sounds good. That's the plan. Seems like a good plan, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well. Yeah. Good luck with it. You want me to take that little cup? Uh, sure, that'd be great. Leave you with the... That would be perfect. Okay. Thanks okay, for my darling. Coffee break, my dear. Thank you for coffee break, my dear. All right. <clears throat> All I'm, right. I'm not spilling. Not spilling. I am getting up. <laughs> okay, chat. We can leave this in here. Okay, sounds good. <sighs> okay. See you later. See you later, my darling. Okay, bye, chat. Hi, chat. Bye, chats. <laughs> okay. Bagel time. Bagel time. Love you, I love you, my dear. <laughs> All right. I miss Kay already. I love you, Burger. <laughs> Ew, now it's just the butt. <laughs> now it's just you, me, and the butt. Wait, am I the butt? You're a guest of Captain Rocco, right? Welcome aboard. Don't talk to me. Must have spent a fortune equipping the ship with triple redundancy. <laughs> Bye, Alpha. Oh, okay. I like how K knows about the goddamn Omega Verse. I have no fucking clue. Uh, society. Aha. Upstairs. Upstairs. <clears throat> how can you resist not ending stream and hanging out with K? Um, I this do very badly want to spend time with Kay, but also, like, I have not played Starfield in a week, and I'm dying to play some fucking Starfield. I fucking love this game. There's nothing quite like the view from the Starview ballroom. It's great. Um... Now, how do we get... We need to get upstairs somehow. This game is pretty awesome, right? Screw the haters. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Some people not liking this game. Fuck them and their shit taste. Listen, can hear the engines, can you? Must be agony to avoid playing this game for six days. It is. It was. Usually, I do a little bit of exploring when I'm not on stream, but I couldn't. Captain I was in the... Shut up! Um, I didn't have my regular ship, so I couldn't do any exploring, so I was dying. Captain Rokov is one of the most easygoing COs I've ever worked with. Uh huh. That Bethesda jank charm, absolutely it does. I love it. Eh. Um, so we need to somehow get upstairs? Gotta get. Oh, okay, so there's a person. Ooh, hey! Hey, look, this is the person with the Earth Savior Award. <laughs> um, This is a pretty polarizing game with my friends. Half got it and love it. The other half are really having a hard time. I fucking love this game. Chalk it, Baka, and I'm glad you're loving it because I definitely am. I'll say for a Souls-like game, Lies of P is pretty decent. Feels like Bloodborne. Yeah, Merlin, it's good, right? Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Oh, great. Yes. I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Um. Eh. Isn't it risky to hold an award ceremony aboard a Starliner? Not at all. I was assured that this particular ship was outfitted with the absolute latest and cutting edge security. I am completely confident that Trident Luxury Lines will keep all of us safe. Um. Okay, well. <clears throat> Did Tech play Remnant 2 at all? Yeah, all off stream, but actually Milton and I beat it. Uh, Remnant 2, which was super fun. Fantastic game. 
Um, heard you're in charge of the Earth Savior Award. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Um, I'd love to get a look at such a fabulous award. There's no way this works. There's no fucking chance she lets me see this thing. Yes, it's quite marvelous, isn't it? Absolutely priceless. Alas, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the ceremony to see it in all its glory. It's far too valuable to be left anywhere else except the master safe located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. <laughs> hey, the thing I you're looking for is in this exact location. Now, please, I have to be slide. rude to you to make sure that you hate me. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my duties. I actually wasn't fucking talking to you, okay? That's so rude, right? Isn't that fucking rude? Out of nowhere. Just, hey, excuse, hey, hey, you, fuck face. I prefer swimming in bioluminescent hot oh, please, springs bear. under a sky full of moons, but hey, the pool is nice. Hey, Barrett, I don't need your goddamn commentary on everything, okay there, bud? Everyone on this ship has something up their ass, right? You think it's fingers? Um, okay, so. Oh, hi there. Do you, uh. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Oh, thanks. Hey, do you have a safe around here anywhere? Just wondering if you got, like, uh. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's in. Okay, so it's in there, and I need the key from her. All right, let's do a quick save here. Hey, you guys got a door I can close anywhere? Like a soundproof door I could close? <laughs> Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Um, I'd like to take a peek at that Earth Savior Award. There's no fucking way, right? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Uh, no thanks. That's okay. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Oh man, she's so fucking nice. I'm gonna feel so bad when I fucking steal the stupid thing. Can I have a claim ID? <laughs> Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. Acquire the ES award claim ID. All right. <laughs> no two-factor authentication? <laughs> I picked this game up Friday so far. I've 20 hours into it and I've made no major progress. I'm on the second story mission. And I've spent most of my time surveying planets and trying to steal ships. The game is so damn good. Right, damn, be damn. Fucking fun fucking game. Absolutely loving it myself. In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. Uh-huh. Must you continue <clears throat> these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. All right, take it easy there. I need your claim ID for the Earth Savior Award. Excuse me? <laughs> and why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Just hand it over. And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? Um... I promise this is just between us. What about auto persuade? I hope I can trust you. Oh. Um, what's the harm if you help me? Not happening. Fuck. I'm sure we can work something out. Fuck. 
Nobody will ever know you told me, I promise. <sighs> There's no way this works. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Maybe. Need to think about it. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Do you have any points in persuasion? I don't. That was a that was a fucking natty twenty I dice roll. There was no fucking reason that that should have worked. Yeah, pure streamer luck, absolutely. Holy shit. Whew. One of the things I'm working on maxing out, love talking my way uh, out of or into shit. Yeah, I'm blown away that that fucking worked. She has to haul it around frequently. Ah, there goes the liar's tongue. No fucking kidding, right? Okay, quick save. Boo, boo, boo. Open door. Uh, hey, do you want to go take a coffee break or something? Maybe you should, like, not watch me for a little bit. Excuse me? This is private. Look away! Um, uh, what are these? Oh, exotic microsecond regulator. Uh, maybe I should tell her to go away. Hey! Glad to have you aboard. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines. Fuck. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are all these fucking vacuum cleaners doing in here? Um, all right, well... Uh, I got the Earth Savior Award. <laughs> Mission complete. Easy as that. At the moment, Aurora isn't permitted on Trident Starliners, though we're working on having that change. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think I only would have gotten in trouble if I tried to steal the things that weren't mine. Ah, oh, fuck. That's cool. I want one of those. <laughs> Whoa, was that Bobby Chicago, the savior of Earth? The one and only. You can tell because she has the Earth Savior Award. I kind of don't want to sell the award Every or give it to anyone. I just want to have the award for myself. So I can call myself Bobby Chicago, savior of Earth. Wow, this is a big ship. Hey, where are we going? Starview Ballroom. Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the ballroom to talk to people. Well, you don't have the firepower to shoot your way out of here? I mean, I do. And part of me wants to, but I think I'm not supposed to. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all. Yeah, blah, 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 shot. Whoa, that's fucked up. The society chair has really Why would you do that? Holy fuck. They have fucking windows on the floor so you can just see An space underneath us. Nice. God, who the does that? Us for every credit we <laughs> I hate it! I hate it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <gasps> okay, chat, this is for you, okay? That view is absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. Positively horrid. God, that is fucking awful. Wow. For business or pleasure? That fucking sucks, man. <laughs> oh, I think they uh it just for you, Tech. God, I hate it. Be glad uh, they don't have the space walks in this. No fucking kidding, right? As Space Smith, I can tell you, it is to find the weak willed in chat. It's me. I'm the weak willed. Please Wish this game was available in VR. Fuck. Hello. Are you a member of the society? No. Shut up. I don't want to talk Quite to you. Don't. Starliner. Nothing. Stop but the talking best to me. Society, yeah? 
Uh, ask society patrons about Larry Dombrowski. Oh, I gotta, okay, I do have to talk to you guys. So, what brings you aboard? Hey, do you know about Larry Dombrowski? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trip. Can you imagine you stepping on that and we're the unfortunate soul that it breaks and sucks you into space? The worst part is, is it looks like there's like two panes of glass. So my luck is like, I'd step on the top pane of glass. It would break. I'd fall through it, hit the second pane of glass and be filled with a moment of absolute fucking terror. I, uh, do you know any? Oh, no. Um, do you know anything about him? No. And why the heck are you so interested in him anyway? Whoa, uh, am I not supposed to- Enjoy the rest of the event. I won't, now that you've been rude to me. So, what brings you aboard? You know anything about Larry Dombrowski? Hey, hey. An open bar would have been nice. Trident's gouging us for every you know who Larry? got. Shut up! Do you know anything about Larry Dombrowski? I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. Okay. Nice to have met you. Yep. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, pleased to make your acquaintance. That what view a lovely is star absolutely star Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Oh my God. Do you know anything about Larry Dombrowski? Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. <laughs> okay. That's all then? Yep. Okay. That's it. Man! I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard the Starliner. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. That's great. Do you know about Larry Dombrowski? The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. Okay. You know anything about him? Besides what I already told you? No. Okay. <laughs> hmm. well, that was boring. This is... Hello? You know anything uh, about you Larry Dombrowski? His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really <laughs> ought to be ashamed of himself. Okay. Don't forget to donate to the cause. Yeah, sure. The society chair <laughs> has really outdone herself. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Great. Do you know anything about Larry Dombrowski? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Oh man, why'd you have that fucking weird ass smile? That's all then? Oh okay. yeah, he's been spending a lot of time with Larry Dombrowski. I'm sure his wife doesn't know anything about it. <laughs> Just a little quick save. <laughs> what smile? Fucking goddamn creep. He's busy cheating on his wife. <laughs> Extramarital sex. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go interact. Let coitus interrupt us. Let's go. Hey, bud. I heard you've been fucking around. It's time to find out. Sorry, do I know you? You don't know me, but I need some information. Yeah, you're in a hell of a lot of trouble. Uh, there's no harm in a friendly little chat between two people. Okay, wait, are you seriously? Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, <coughs> I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone and my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. You want me to kill him? Um, maybe I should talk to Larry Dombrowski's wife instead. <gasps> His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. 
I told Harry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? That was so good. I'll tell his wife. What? Oh, for the love of God, that motherfucker. <laughs> um, let's see. All I need is something incriminating on Dombrowski. Really, truly, right? <laughs> yeah, persuade, right? And and we'll get some. Uh, Yeah, no, let's try Persuade first. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Um... Once Dombrowski has what he wants, he'll sell you down the river. That's a pretty solid one. If you get the info, he might come after me. Okay, that was not the right one. Um... I'll find the information one way or another, so you might as well benefit now. If you had another God damn information, it! you wouldn't be dealing. You'd be demanding. <sighs> Dombrowski has no way out of this. You might if you cooperate. Is that supposed to be some Fuck! sort of threat? <laughs> Not smart. Not smart at all. God damn it! God. Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? Damn it, she's too fucking clever. Are you willing to part with your gal bank credentials? You're not very bright, are you? I'm a grade C3 exec at gal bank. That means my credentials get me into two places, the front door and the ladies room. Oh. <laughs> if that's all you really want, you're certainly welcome to them. Damn it! I hate dealing with NPCs that are 10 times smarter than I am. <laughs> Just pay the woman? Okay, what if I give you 2,500 credits? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? Sorry, I, I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. You're pissed off? Imagine how Dombrowski is going to feel when we start stepping on his toes. Yeah, nice one, Barrett. <laughs> Good. I hope you crush them so badly he'll be unable to walk. Frick. All right. Okay. Um, all right, tell me about this scheme. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. Uh-huh. I forgot Barrett was here. Without him going, we need to have a chat every five fucking minutes. I know, right, Korg? It was easy to forget that he was even here. <clears throat> Barrett seems like the uncle that doesn't know when to go home. Exactly. Um... Uh, if you want revenge, give me proof I can use against them. I wish I had some. Oh. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Yeah, alright. Sounds good. God I damn it. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. Oh, you want me to fucking murder him? I'll just fucking kill him. All right, point me to him. I'll fucking end him right here. I'll blow his goddamn brains out. Boy, am I late to the show. Hey there, peeps. Hey, Gadnar, how's it going? Good morning, good morning. I'm, I'm starting to understand why your persuasion methods in most games is, so I started blasting. Right? I gotta play this. What brings you Jetpack! 
The society chair has really I gotta play this goddamn run around talking to people thing. I can just shoot them all and take surroundings. their money. All right, Gabriel. Hello. You here for the charity event? Um, I'd rather talk about Larry Dombrowski. Dombrowski, <clears throat> uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. That's a lie. Claudia Swiss says you have information about Larry Dombrowski. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Maybe I am a little drunk, but you're still nope. a liar. Barrett? Barrett, you're not helping, Barrett. God damn it. Um, <clears throat> You don't sound very worried about Claudia's calling you out. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? I really want to get my gun. Holy fucking shit, I want to get my fucking gun. Oh my fucking god, I want to just get my fucking gun. Oh fucking hell, I, I could solve this whole goddamn story in two seconds if I use my fucking gun. For me before I have you Holy shit! I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society. I got a real easy solution here, guys. I could, I could solve this whole fucking thing. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Imbecile's gonna demand that you be arrested. Um, does he actually have the authority to get have me arrested? Oh, absolutely. He's up the ladder at UC Security. <laughs> Lots of pull. We have to handle this very delicately. Big fucking rock. I do have a big fucking rock to solution to this goddamn story. <laughs> and this is partly why D&D suffers from murder hobo syndrome. I know, right? You do have to manage that. If you if you make D&D &D party people talk to this person to talk to this person to talk to this person and every time it fails, listen, they're just going to fucking shut you down. I don't want to tell that. Fine then, whatever. He's involved in an embezzlement scheme. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. It's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Um. Sh why shouldn't I just kill Vera and be done with it? Yeah, that's smart. Kill Vera or anyone else involved in his conspiracy, and then Dubrovsky heads for the hills. Oh. Besides, you really want to ace a member of UC security and have them breathing down your neck? Yeah. You'll be the top story on SSNN. No. There has to be a safer way. Starship News Network? <laughs> Ship wide, uh, wait until he returns to his cabin and falls asleep? Maybe. But if something goes wrong, and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Okay, then a shipwide emergency. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Okay, fine. I'm not particularly inspired by your shining example of competent leadership here. Oh, oh thanks, Barrett. Oh, as as dude, that's... <laughs> the the pod. Thanks, Barrett. Just throw Barrett. a few lousy switches and you're done. Holy fuck, One man. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, 
What's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. <sighs> Have you had sex with anyone yet? Not yet, Flame. Still a sexless trek through space. Uh, okay, fine. Get back to it. Yeah, I'm getting back to it, bud. Okay, don't tell me what to do. Frick. An open bar would have been. Nice. Are you maidenless? Well, Sam Co. Is going. It's going pretty well with Sam Co. I think. I think me and Sam could have something. Something real. <laughs> Manmanless, exactly. All right. Hi. I'm just gonna go tamper with the shit. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go hang out. Bye. Hey, bud. Suddenly, uh, 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 we've entered a high security medical this bay. Area's off limits to Didn't expect this. that. Okay, well, you're it. Shut up! Captain Yorkov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? God damn it, Barrett. Uh, I need to get into the life support area. Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Um, I'm the captain's guest, but you can't let me into that room? No, sorry, I'm afraid it's impossible. God damn it. Trident regulations strictly prohibit anyone from entering the life support area without the valid reason. Oh, Look, God. I'm not trying to be a jerk here, it's just that I could lose my job, you know? All right, Captain Rokov said he's willing to forgive your fucking gambling debt. Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Don't worry, your job is completely safe. <laughs> is he Swedish? I think so, Flame, but I can't quite tell. Did <laughs> Tech voice this guy? I know, I can't quite pin his accent. But I do like him talking about his job. Okay. Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be out of a job. <laughs> no, don't worry. You're not going to be out of a job. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, life support access open. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, cool, man. Let's fuck with the life support. Reset the switch. Reset the switch. Reset the switch. There we go. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Well... Apparently, Yank the Amazing is in this game. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to this guy. Oh, great. Everyone cleared out of the buffet. That's always a bad sign. Hey, Barrett. I could do with less commentary, okay? Okay. Now, let's see. <laughs> Barrett, please. Bap, 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 bap. Hi there. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and proceed to your cabin. Yes, hey, thank um, you so much. When you're not busy, let's chat. Barrett, no! Sorry, Barrett. <laughs> You're so mean to bear it. It's because he fucking all he does is fucking give me goddamn penny commentary and want to stop all the time so he can give me chicken marsala. Actually, I don't know why I'm mad at him. He wants to talk about his feelings and give me free food. I think I love Barrett. Hey, bud. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games. 
and tell me why you're here. <laughs> Um, All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Um. Okay, so how do we play this? Do I tell him I'm part of the pirates? Do I tell him I'm part of Sis Def, or do I just ask for everything on Dombrowski? I can't fl flirt isn't an option. Pirates? I guess pirates would probably be the Are one. You say well, something or what? If I'm undercover, then he's already in trouble, right? If I'm with Sis Def, he already has to start begging for his life. I'm gonna say that I'm with Sisdef. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, <clears throat> why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? God damn it! You don't need to hand you don't need to worry about anything ever again. No, I won't attack him. This will set the whole ship alarm off. Uh, Claudia says you've been cheated out of your fair share of the Galbank job by Dombrowski. Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it. That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away All with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fly. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. And remain yeah. there until you receive further instructions. I can't. Don't talk over the alarm, okay? Uh, fuck. I have to pay his fucking thing, too? Holy, I know. It's costing me so much fucking money. <laughs> I feel like I can smell this, man. I just know he uses heavy cologne. Definitely. Do not pay him. I mean, if I attack him, it sets the entire ship off. That's my only problem. <sighs> Before I make any deals, can you mind telling me what I'm buying? Oh, I've got everything you're gonna need. This is a one-stop shop for you. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. <laughs> it was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. Oh, God. Hey, I just got here. No idea what's happening, but you need to fucking kill this man. But what if his fucking, what if he hid the information somewhere and I don't know where to get it, right? I think I gotta pay for it, man. I think I gotta pay for the goddamn information. All passengers, may I have your Hold on, there's please. an alarm going off. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an You look pretty fashion. stupid just standing there like that. There I'm killing him. What the hell? Oh. 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 Huh? Who I'm looks a... stupid now, huh? Uh. Who looks stupid now? Uh. You fucking idiot, huh? Now who looks stupid? Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Not now, for the love of... Ah, we can handle this. Great. Whoa. Ow. Well, now we have the entire ship upset with us. We are now gonna have to now kill our way out of the entire fucking ship. This is really... 
Oh boy. Now we gotta kill everyone. <laughs> All right, where? Who else is in here? Huh? Got him. Uh huh. No, I can't. No, we gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back. <sighs> you know you can get weapons that knock people out? Load the save, yeah. <laughs> I can't kill everyone on the ship. I won't uh I won't get credit. They said I had to be very careful not to kill anyone. Can you pickpocket? No, I'll just pay the guy his stupid fucking money. I'll pay him his stupid goddamn 2,500. God, Barrett wants to chat again. I was wondering if you were the cause of the... It's time you... Uh, Dombrowski has something that the Crimson Fleet wants. I always took him for a fool. I can't believe he's stupid enough to have gotten mixed up with the Crimson Fleet. Still, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over any evidence? <laughs> you got a second? I want to talk about my feelings. Not now, Barrett. God! No, Barrett, I don't want to talk about your feelings, and I don't want any more chicken marsala. Well, maybe I'll take a couple chicken marsala, but I don't want to talk about your feelings. Um... Claudia's been, uh, Dombrowski's been playing you and Claudia this entire time. All passengers. I don't know where you got that we information from, attention, but it lines up with all the, the troubles I've been having getting my cut from that asshole. That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's fashion. going to walk away with a fortune. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't want to end up on the Crimson Fleet shit list. But if I give you that information and it, it falls into the wrong hands, I'll end up in jail. This is a lose-lose situation for me. <sighs> All right, here's your fucking money, bud. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I cannot absorb your information with this alert. I know that stupid fucking ship alert makes it impossible. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, You'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, you blah, blah, tell blah. Ask you to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. <sighs> Great. Now all of chat's fucking bear it now too. To think. Barely had Can nail my ass to the wall. <laughs> also, hey, also, hey, chat, just got to bring this up for a quick sec. Yesterday, I did a stretch where apparently chat could see my belly button. Kay was in chat when I did that. And Kay said, and I quote, when chat saw my belly button, chat became a horny mess. <laughs> chat! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's K. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Your Honor, I plead oopsie daisy. <laughs> oh man, that was so fucking funny. Oh fuck. <laughs> It's a positive. That was a compliment. Oh, fuck. That was so fucking funny. Holy shit. Fucking chat's a goddamn horny mess. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. God, tech, I needed this laugh so bad. Oh, fuck. I was dying. When Kate told me that last night, I was fucking dying. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Holy shit, these fucking alarms. <sighs> I 
Okay. To you, that's gross. Anybody got a clip? Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of <laughs> negotiation. No deals this time, dumb broski. Uh, there isn't going to be a negotiation. <laughs> Au contraire, my misguided friend. How dare you French me? There's a bargain that needs to be hammered out, and you will listen to the facts before we proceed. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. He's clever. He's fucking clever. <laughs> this man has long balls, I know it. Whoa, what the fuck are long balls and why do All I think I have- passengers, may I have your attention please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Holy fucking shit. I gotta fucking finish this quest so that goddamn alarm goes away. Holy shit. Um... I haven't entirely ruled out the bullet option yet. I see. That certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Rather astounding that you deciphered our communication attempt. It only took you a minute more than we expected for you to work through the calculus and participate in the discussion. But the rat models are notoriously unpredictable. N nailed him, Barrett. You really fucking got him there. Barrett? Barrett, you don't have to... You don't have to be part of the conversation. <laughs> 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 not helping right <laughs> damn bear giving the shoulder i know i don't know why he's looking the other way too <laughs> oh yeah uh, how nice of you to join us in this conversation we've been having we've been waiting for you to join us <laughs> um yeah that's all i want all bud no. fuck may i have your attention please ah! the captain has declared a ship-wide emergency please report to your cabins this in silence fashion. is most irregular what do you mean silence do you not hear the deafening goddamn fucking alarm that's all i want bud splendid <laughs> it appears we've reached an accord wait i'm sorry let me simplify that for you it sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Boy, I really do want to now, kill him, though. if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. I know now isn't the best Fuck. time. I can't I kill him, chat. If I fire a gun, the entire security of the entire ship comes after me. Ooh. I'm just gonna... Hey, bud, I took your fucking cred sticks, ass. <sighs> Silenced weapon? I think the ship has, like, a security system that just, like, registers as soon as anybody takes a shot. Oh. <laughs> Is this a safe that you have? Have you tried sucking his dick with malicious intent? Oh. <gasps> the perfect strategy. <laughs> no one expects the malicious suck. Please read Sleepy's comedies right. Okay, wait, what did Sleepy say? 
This guy writes negative reviews on games that have female protagonists. Holy shit. That is absolutely fucking true. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. I need... Uh... Those, I think, and then I think I can get this one. Yep. And then I need these two that are spread far apart. Uh, no, I don't think I don't think any of these fit. So I'm going to have to go to these two little singles. And now I got to get. <clears throat> Uh, it'll be this one and then this one. Got it. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Inside his expert locked safe was three cans of Canup Double Double and a thousand credits. Um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Barrett, no, let's never. Let's get out there and do nope. something new today. No, nope. Barrett, never All talking passengers. to you. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Holy shit. Everybody's talking so much. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I wish you hadn't blown away the gambling debt that Sandine owed me. But hey, you got the job done. Um, I'm the one that I got what I wanted. I'm the one who took all the risks. You must be joking. After this little stunt I helped you pull, I'm certain Trident's going to rip up my captain's contract. I've got nowhere else to go, so I'm fully expecting that you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me? partner we're hunting down Crix's legacy <laughs> just spoil the entire fucking mission yeah you know i'm on me me and everybody else is hunting for this long lost pirate treasure anyways don't follow us um you mean you haven't figured it out on your own i usually have a nose for these things but in your case it's a mystery very frustrating. Whatever the case may be, it's apparently worth risking your life over. That's telling me it involves a, a lot of money. That also means I want in. All passengers. Yeah, I would tell you, but Delgado please. would kill me if I did. The ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with a fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Um, you're damn right you do. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get what's coming to you. I promise. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. You'll get what's coming to you. I promise. Yep. There was definitely Our a fucking threat. 100%. Your cabin during the bop, 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 bop. 7 out of 10. I got lost in the game. No arrows pointing exactly for me to where to go. Oh, it's down here. Fuck him up. Listen, I wish I could just murder everyone on this boat, but I'd get in trouble if I did. Why are we stomping so much? I think our suit's really heavy. <laughs> Peach, stars, honest Captain. honestly, that's the vibe I'm getting. Okay. Hey, um, when 
you're not busy, let's chat. Hey Barrett, could you not could you not use my could you not call me on my communicator just to tell me that you would also like to at another time have a chat? I'm gonna lose my mind! We gotta go do some main story shit so we can get rid of Barrett. Holy fuck, man. The only other thing that we could choose to do, I guess, would be to talk to him. But I don't wanna do that. Duct tape Barrett to the wall! Send ship to self-destruct, right? Holy fuck. Proceed to New Atlantis. Wait, why am I going to New Atlantis? Am I, am I on the right quest? I've acquired Larry Dombrowski's Galbank credentials. Time to wrap things up with Rokov, then head to New Atlantis and the Galbank archives. Oh, I'm gonna go steal from the bank. Oh, that's no problem. Away we go. Can't you just dismiss him as a follower? I don't know, I worry about fucking up quest progress if I do that. Think Barrett has info for us? No, last time I talked to him, he told me about his feelings. And the time I talked to him before that, he gave me chicken masala. I don't think he has anything meaningful to talk about. Did somebody just try to tell me that they went to chef school? Dude, I could not care less about that. Hey Tech, before you do anything else in this game, there's something super important to check. Barrett has something to tell you. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. <sighs> Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. Uh-huh. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. Uh-huh. Barrett. This. <sighs> I hope that helped you, bud. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about uh -huh. biodiversity and yeah. plant life. Oh. But one thing stood out. Yeah. In one of his messages, he uh -huh. mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. No way. He said something terrible was happening there. Uh-huh. But the message was garbled after that. Did you say terrible? <laughs> I hope there's a point to this story, Barrett. Just wait, listen. The point is that I found an encrypted message where one shouldn't be. Okay. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Uh-huh. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. Dude, this story is making me sad and unhappy and very, very, this is, Okay, yeah, um, that must have been really difficult to hear, Barrett. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. Uh-huh. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. Uh-huh. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Uh-huh. Um, <sighs> the recording's 20 years old, bud. It is, but I was thinking about it, and well, it's still wrong, right? I don't know, so man. I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here. Uh huh. See what I can find out. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, yeah. I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. No way. I need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. Yeah. Yeah, Constellation can pay for that, bud. We're on their program. That makes sense. Irvin was one of us, after all. Uh-huh. You know, 
Hearing Ervin's voice again made me want to help him. <laughs> Even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Not really, Barrett. <sighs> Hey, if everything makes sense when you say it. <laughs> Now's the time for flirting. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> tech, Tech, I think you're winning the game. Keep doing this. Yep. Uh, yeah. Do you think this will help him? No. I know I can't. I'm not going to flirt with him. I just don't want him. whoever heard him to get away <laughs> with it. If that's what happened. Holy shit, Barrett. Uh, okay. Uh, if Irvin was that upset, it must still be important. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. Yeah, no kidding, man. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Dude, Hopefully Barrett. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Who's that? Well, anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. Please don't. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Are you fucking kidding me, Barrett? Are you fucking kidding me? There's no fucking way. We just talked. No, Barrett. No, no, no. I've heard enough. No, we've done. I've done all the talking I'm going to do. All right. Holy fucking shit. God damn. This song is more epic than Lord of the Rings. Holy shit, Barrett. This is not I can do fucking Barrett Field, all right? I'm supposed to be exploring space. I don't know who Irvin is. I don't know who Hephaestus is. I have completely lost the thread of whatever fucking narrative you have, Barrett. Holy fucking piss, bud. I so super duper don't give a shit about any of your story. Oh, God. <laughs> You're Irving. Uh, there's no way. I'm leaving. There's not enough time for him to get in the elevator. <laughs> if you're on the main quest to go to Neon, you don't need Barrett as a companion, by the way. God, I'm going to fucking replace him. Hey, Barrett, you just wait in there, okay? <laughs> Techie heard you. Now he's crying. Good. He can't talk to me if he's too busy crying. Holy shit. Good morning, Texmith. I see you're wearing your food delivery shirt. God damn it. That story's too fucking powerful. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? <laughs> talk to him to calm him down? Absolutely not. I hope he gets so fucking upset I, he doesn't make any sense anymore. Show credentials. Here you go. Just one moment while I verify. <clears throat> oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Okay. Um, What is this? They're bounty hunters here? It's a classic setup? What the fuck is this? What happens if I choose this one? I don't know that there's bounty hunters here. Is this going to ruin our save? So I can't save while I'm in conversations. I got to be better at saving before I talk to people. Because I can't do it in a conversation. Fuck. Um, you know, okay, wait. You're acting a bit strange. Or do you usually treat all Gal Bank executives this unprofessionally? It's a trap. How the hell did you know that? Look, Ecliptic busted in here and said something about letting you walk into the archives and then they're going to jump you. I'm supposed to let you in and then get the heck out of here. They said if I didn't do exactly what they said, they'd kill me. Just be careful. I don't even know how many of them are hiding in there. Violence. I will do great violence to them. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Just gotta get my gun out. Boop, 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 boop. Shotgun ought to be a good way to start. Ooh, they're actually, they might be a little far away. Hey, 
Barrett, you that? okay? Hey, Barrett, watch out. Ow! Ow, fuck. Ow, fuck. That didn't go. Ow! Where are these motherfuckers? Well, they don't need it now. Ow, did you just punch me? I guess that was time to shine. Contact. Ow! Engaging hostile. Now stop punching me! Now! Okay. Dude, that guy had shit tons of health. Neutralize the target. Where is Harvey Dent? Hey, where are you at? Hiding over here. Got him! Ecliptic ambush dealt with. Very intense music. It feels like the music is like a billion, billion decibels. Do you think he can hear us now, nah, man? We're whisper yelling. <laughs> Have you given Barrett any throwables, grenades, or mines? He'll infinitely toss them. <gasps> hey, Barrett. Excuse me. Looking for something? Did you just French me, bud? Did you just fucking French me, bud? Uh, here. Uh, there you go, bud. Now you can throw grenades. Okay. Uh, what's this? Okay. Much more disciplined than I am. I take all the guns and ammo. The, I just, I get overburdened so quick, right? I'm already at 121 out of 155. I thought you said you weren't flirting with him, Tech. I gave him a grenade. That's not, f well, actually. Hold on, chat. Is giving someone a grenade flirting an American? Ah, oh, shit. I think I might have accidentally flirted with Barrett. <laughs> yes? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, fuck, I just accidentally flirted with, with Barrett. God damn it. Means you want to... Oh, God. Corey, that's a goddamn dad joke. You basically proposed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got that info. Something or other. Grenades have rings after all. Damn, that's true, too. <laughs> all right. There's a whole song about it. No way. Is giving someone maple syrup flirting in Canadian? Uh, that is basically uh, technically already foreplay in Canadian. Okay, I don't see anything else good here. Any safes or anything for me to crack into? That's asking for anal, exactly. That's exactly what giving someone maple syrup in Canadian means. I have a question, Sir Streamer. Uh, yes, medalists. Thank you for recognizing my official knighting as well. This isn't a bank heist tech. That doesn't mean I can't steal everything. I know you're really busy running a stream right now, but if you get some time, we should chat. God damn it. <laughs> fucking motherfucking Barrett Light. Uh, wait, where do you want me to go? This way. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, hey, Dust Man, I hope you're doing well, man. <laughs> All right. 
And now we just go back to our ship. Excellent. Have you done the Aquila chest glitch yet? No, I didn't even know what that was. Uh, you monkey butt 69. Thank you very much for the 11 month resub. Uh, future friendly ghost. Thank you for the prime for eight months. Fruit and yogurt. Thank you for the 19 months. Double A. Thank you for the 22 freaking months. Says tech is a butt. Tech is a butt. Tech is a butt. Um, double A. Unthank you for that resub, bud. There's a couple vendor chests in Aquila. You can take all their inventory. Oh my God, Lighthawk. That's excellent news. As fun as that was, it's good to be back. Mr. Streamer, do you know Barrett's full name? Um, I really don't. Barrett Buddy Boy talks a lot, I guess. Go to Aquila, walk to the first puddle and crouch and you can loot all the guy's stuff. What the fuck? Pluto is labeled as a planet in game. How do you feel about this? Vindication. Vindication the Turner. Pluto was always a planet. It's Grenin Bear. Ah, oh, fucking Tinkerbell. Hey, Tinkerbell. That'll be twenty goddamn dollars right there. That'll be twenty motherfucking dollars, you goddamn crimer. How fucking dare you? Uh, wait, what do I need to do for my quest? Proceed to the key. Proceed to the key. Cricks. Key. Set course. Jump. Let's go. How do you feel about Uranus? Uh, well, you know, I try fingers. Dude, none of it comes off as stolen either. Wait a day, sell all the stuff back to him, do over and over. Holy fuck, fine alpaca. That's such a good idea. Wow, good joke, good joke, streamer. Peach? Hey, Peach? I love you, Peach. Do it go to Aquila? I think I'll do that off stream. I don't want people to see me cheat. I don't want you to see me like that, chat. I don't want you to see me at my cheatiest. Just sneeze, farted, and hurt so much I worried I ripped the hole a bit. I mean, metal, when you think of it, it's really just gonna make your life easier further down the road, so. Small time pain, large time gain. Think of how much less time you're going to spend on the toilet in the future. That's prime gaming time you're getting. Everything could fall out like overturning a bucket. Exactly, right? So much more game time. Next time you see Bog, tell him to lighten up. I got a real attitude. Next time I see Bog, tell him to lighten up. You really want me to go up to another pirate randomly and just tell him to lighten up? Okay. <clears throat> hey, bud, how's Your it going? Your buddy rock off is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. <laughs> <laughs> what to be a key? Um, Rokov's not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, 
I guess we can give him another chance. Wow, that counted as me All vouching right. for him? Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Grixis legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. You do not Bannock dictate four. where my panties go, Neva. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Nope. EM class is certain death. Back it up. Thanks, Barrett. <sighs> Nightwalker. Need all the love cut right now because I'm having, boy, am I having it rough. Could write a novel in the past couple months, but I hope you and chat are doing good and touching your bussies together like little starfishies. Uh, well, you don't need to, you don't need to hope about that. For sure, chat is definitely pressing their bussies together like little starfishies. <laughs> I was going to be mad at that mild sexism, but tab back and she's hot, so it's okay. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I need some background music for when I need uh, for when I need to tab out and stuff. Let's do uh, this and not that and this and this. Okay, good. There. Now I at least have something for when I tab out. Um, I'm willing to give it a shot. I just said the place is EM class. But hey, if you want to commit suicide, please go ahead and jump there. Don't let me stop you. Both of you shut up and think for a second. No. I'm sure Greeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. You're so negative. Crix wouldn't have given up. He was a real pirate. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. <laughs> Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. Oh, cool. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comp spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Uh, ah, great. Stick me with no. It's okay. Uh, we'll do the we'll fit. We'll do the best we can. Best we can. What are you five? <laughs> no. All right, that is five enough. and a half. We are in arm's reach of Crix's <laughs> legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. No, you follow me. I don't know where we're going. Follow Neva. I'm right. Here we go. <laughs> These peeps are snarky. I mean, they are all pirates. They're nasty people. Which is why we, we are double crossing them. And we're going to sell all their secrets to Sysdef. Then we're going to kill all of Sysdef, kill all the pirates, and take the money from both sides just for us. In the end, we are out for number fucking one. Bobby's out here for Bobby. It's a double triple cross, exactly. I'd follow her into a volcano, to be honest. Whoa. We call you sharks. 
But to the fleet, they're just faint. If you want to stay on All the right. radar... Let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? So this is tough. I did technically find... I did technically find the Life Savior Award. And I know that it's worth, like, billions of credits. But the thing is... I have no idea who to sell it to. Why do I have the feeling you're gonna make a, uh, more money off this than I am? Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. You see, everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. Now. You might want to hand over that award before I have you tossed off the key. Just a thought. <sighs> so kill them all and you'll be the one at the top, right? <sighs> now don't give it to her. But I won't make any... Oh, wait. No, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I give it to her. Right? She gives me a little bit of the money. And then later, I kill her with the entire Crimson Fleet and I take the rest of the money. She knows where to sell it to get the most money for it. So let's let her sell it and then I'll just take the money off her dead fucking corpse later when I murder everybody. Uh, Here you go. You should... Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. What? No, anyway, just fucking lie to him! Your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. What right, the fleet? fuck? We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. 3,000 credits? Oh my, you could have just not given Rokov his fucking cut. I was lying to him when I said he was gonna get one. What a fucking waste of my goddamn time. That last job didn't pan out. I need something bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. No, chat. Nah, everyone else is being way overly dramatic, okay? Sneeze me straight. Oh, no! <laughs> I sneezed flame into a different sexuality. No! <laughs> My nipples just switched places. Wait, how could you tell? Need something? <laughs> You see, sis, Jeff is a joke. God damn it. <laughs> I need like four therapists now and they all need therapists. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fuck. Mm -hmm. Breathe in that technically suitable air. Uh-huh. Sounds good, Barrett. <clears throat> Bud. You can't tell? No, they look the same to me. <laughs> Just got out of the shower and the pipes blew up. There's water. Okay, you guys are being so overly dramatic. You guys are fine. It was a little sneeze. Um. Okay, where am I going? Who do I have to? I don't even fucking remember what I had to do. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I gotta go talk to these guys and get that fucking thing. <sighs> there are no little sneezes with you? <gasps> don't, you'll make me self-conscious about my sneezes. I was grabbing some food and for some reason there's a solar eclipse. <laughs> okay. Some might call a nuke a little bomb, too. Okay, <laughs> okay that's fair.
All right, let's dock with the vigilance and get our little calm spike. <laughs> it's okay, Tech. Your sneezes are more of a shower and a grower than, you know, they're just massive. They are. Well, no, no, they're not. <laughs> you tricked me. You made me think we we're talking about dicks. <laughs> Is this like space D and D? Yeah, basically. <clears throat> All right, let's go talk to what's his face and see if we can get our little calm spike thing. I didn't operation. kill anybody like you wanted. It was boring. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume. Um, some of the sirens and stuff. No, that's okay. Yeah, I got the credentials. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Uh huh. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. You've taken care of that mess, by the way. No, Speaking I took of care which, of that mess. I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Um, how did you know? Uh, how did you know all that? The Bannock system was the site of a significant battle during the Narian War. I had to do a research paper on the subject at the Academy. Okay, well, Delgado will figure it out. <laughs> It sounds like you admire that lunatic. Uh, well, he's kept ahead of you, motherfuckers. Well, he's kept ahead of us by murdering our past informants, so... If you admire someone like that, maybe we picked the wrong person for the job. That's enough, Lieutenant. Yeah, that's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the Legacy's transponder signal. <clears throat> yeah, what about the comm spike? They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. Oh, yeah, is no, he not far enough ahead for you? I'm familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what She's the leak. To do. She's the leak. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I've played Bethesda games before. She's the motherfucking leak. <clears throat> um, I'll report back with any evidence. Perfect. Just stick with the plan, and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. It's gonna be me. Sorry, it's gonna be my... This mission is going... What can I do for you? I got some evidence for you, bud. Good. The more you find... Uh, I got this from the penitentiary. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Krix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Krix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Find anything else? Yeah, I got this piece of information on a certain Galbank employee who was aboard the Siren of the Stars. Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's going to be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Have any more? Makes me fucking sick. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I know there's more out there, so... Keep on it. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Yeah, well, you're fucking rude as shit, so. Don't mind me if I don't have any more fucking conversations with you. Oh, great. Barrett, I fucking forgot Barrett was still here. Hey, Barrett, should we stop and have a chat once I have a, once I have a chance? Someone leave some food out before we left? Whoa. Oh, sorry, Barrett. No, I was just farting really bad farts. 
We can't crack a window though, it's space, we'd all die. When you get a minute, let's chat, tech. No! Hey! Ping, thank you very much for the four month resub. Okay, where are we going? Gotta get the comm spike? Where's that at? Space, 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 cricks. Uh, we're gonna go back to the key? Fuck. Just fucking jumping all over the place. Fruit tech hurtful even. I'm not talking to anybody anymore. Fuck that shit. Spaceship's supposed to be giant Dutch ovens. Exactly, right? Everyone's eating their fucking chicken marsala, having a bunch of curry farts all over the place, and there's no way to crack a window. Got a minute, we need to talk. I mean, it's going to be equivalent of Milton's dealing with Mass Effect's Phi Dan. Yeah, so I don't know what the fuck that Phi Dan thing was, other than Milton had a fucking PTSD trauma episode every time I mentioned that name. Too many missions, not enough time. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Play Mass Effect? It's been so long. I do need to play through it again. Um. Seriously, though, play Mass Effect. I will. Oh, I will. Trust me. All right, Jazz. <clears throat> what do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920 security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Hmm, sounds like a situation that calls for a fist bump. Unless she wants my knuckles, too. I sure hope so. Cause she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Unfortunately, I have no idea. Like Neva said, it's a prototype, so it could look like anything. Once you're inside SY920 and you're behind their firewalls, you should pick through their computer system. With any luck, it'll point you the right way. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal because you're gonna need it. Yep. So you don't care if I shoot my way through the place? Are you kidding? The UC's already painted giant red crosshairs on our backs. Keep Way and his pals at Sysdef won't rest until we're dead. It's not like you can make them any angrier at us, right? Shoot the place full of holes if you want. Just bring back that calm spike. Understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like 
get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. Oh. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, if Juan asks why we need the comm spike, what do I tell her? I'm gonna leave that up to you, Rook. Oh, cool. If you get into deep trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is gonna make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's gonna be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Okay. Stay sharp, Rook. Hold on, I just gotta reload all my guns. I'm gonna turn it into a shooting gallery. Oh yeah, I have a grenade launcher. I forgot about that. All right. Let's fucking go. Let's do some real fucking damage this time. Thank God. All this walking around talking to people has got me fucking itching to murder someone. Hey guys, how's it going? Something. <clears throat> so working for the UC, killing UC on behalf of the fleet. Yeah, exactly. Well, except I'm, I'm killing them on behalf of me, to be honest. <clears throat> I want all the, I want all the rewards for me. I want all the money. I want all the experience. You're going to get quite the scolding. They didn't tell me not to kill people this time. There was no such warning. Uh... <clears throat> Away we go! Kind of feels like running with a gun is in hand is pretty dangerous. Nah, I'm a professional. A professional murderer. The only thing that happens is I accidentally do a little bit more of my job than I was intending to. <laughs> murder hobo. I'm not a murder hobo, okay? You will be scanned as you enter the city. Professional accidental murderer. <laughs> oh boy, here I go killing again. Bobby Chicago. Healing in art is a... Hello! I'm here. I would like to go to the well. <clears throat> now. What am I... I'm just looking for the comm spike. Murder everyone, get comm spike, right? Quick save. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I take it your neighbor's new recruit. And you must be the smuggler. I have a name, you know, Bobby Chicago. Uh, maybe I don't tell you my name, actually. You got the smuggler. Careful. The walls have ears. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops. So I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Uh-huh. Great, more rules to follow. Rules help establish trust. And I can't work with someone I don't trust. Uh-huh. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Um. <laughs> got, got it, sure, fine, whatever, I don't give a fuck, okay. Good, then we have a deal. Okay. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. And make yeah, sure mine's Big Mama. Hall. 
Once you're on no, board, wait, I want to tell you about my ship called Big Mama. You can come and go as you please. Okay, sounds good. We'll talk more on the ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ship time. Ooh. Man, I'm going to take out all my pent-up aggression on this entire fucking ship full of people. I can't wait to shoot my way through to the comm spike. It is no way. There's no fucking... There's no fucking... Who the fuck just tried to fucking ping pong me? Five cats in a parka? Oh, is it because it's fall time? <laughs> Five cats, did you put on a parka? Cause it's, it's, it's later in the season. <laughs> oh. Just wanted to let you know I was thinking of you. Aw, that's so sweet. And also really fucked up, bud. Okay, after my meeting. Bye. Bye. Five cats in a parka. I just did this one last night. Oh, so you know what I'm heading into the weapon. Wait, this is my ship, right? Oh, no, this is not my ship. This is her ship. Barrett, get out of my way. Holy fuck, Barrett. Bud. Yes. Uh, how do I get up? I'm gonna change my name to Five Cats and Dead Ass. Wow, that's a lot of cats in an ass, though. Howdy, hey. Hard. Whoop. <sighs> yep. Okay, yep. 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 Get out of my way. Uh, hey, how do we get up? How do we get upstairs? Aha! Uh -huh. Always looking for the next mark. Uh huh. <clears throat> okay Ma'am Oh my fucking god You need to get the fuck out of my way bud Glad you're in the fleet Excuse me Alright A few things to know Uh huh When we get to the checkpoint UC military will be hailing us Let me do the talking Uh huh Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to Okay Shouldn't be a problem I'll be silent as a crate of tissues at a hentai conference. Good. Say nothing and let their minds fill in the gaps. Hey, a crate of cargo can still have personality, though. If you add enough flair. Let's try to keep our bags colorless and boring, then. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. They have conferences? Where? We're not allowed to talk about it, okay? It's a, it's a, half the puzzle is finding out where the conference is. Uh, okay, let's go. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. Okay, I'm sitting in this seat. Routing power to engine and grab drive. All systems go. Whoa, this is kind of cool. The unknown master shows up. First message. First message from the unknown master is, I have a game request. Yeah, hit me with it. What's your game request? Name it. Any game you want me to play? Play SAO, please. Sounds good. Chat, we're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. I hope you got all the star fields you wanted. We're shutting the fucking game down. We're going to go play some sword art online. I've got a harem to collect and it won't collect itself. <laughs> Tech, when you have a second, I have a game request. <laughs> Let's fucking go! I enjoy sword art, sword art online, actually. So I like the show. I did like, uh, I did like sword art online, the show. As long as, you know, you just kind of mentally navigate the, the treacherous waters. I've never played the game, though. I would like to try the game. 
Not right now, though. The Unknown Master, thank you for the game request. Uh, I'm going to keep playing Starfield right now, though. <laughs> Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. Saving lives of P for Spooptober? No, so we played some yesterday and it was amazing. And we're gonna play uh, Lies of P for the rest of the week as well. I just, I needed my Starfield day. I need my Tuesday Starfield days. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. My first time on Twitch. Wow, You're this is a wild channel for this to be your first time on Twitch. Welcome to it. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. If this is your first channel on your first day on Twitch, I get the feeling you may never visit Twitch again after today. <laughs> Welcome to the crash course. The lion's den. Um... Okay, we're in. First things first. Ooh. The station is enormous with checkpoints everywhere uh-huh to get past them you don't need a do military this uniform. don't do so this ah! away the vents. you can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs there's an intercom there as well where we can make contact once you get a uniform it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay but if at any point your cover's blown <laughs> i'm gone what the fuck <laughs> The fuck happened? You okay, bro? No, I'm not okay. Some piece of shit in chat just shot me with a fucking ping pong ball. I'm not okay. I'm not gonna be okay. Where'd that fucking ping pong ball go? <laughs> Where's the fucking God damn fucking ping pong balls? Fucking piss shit. Gross. The next one's the fucking Tangia Dan Bean Boozle Ball. <laughs> Gross. Thing hit me on the cheek last time. <laughs> um. I hope you got that grav drive ready then. Very funny. But if you do get into trouble, try and use that quick wit to your advantage. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Hey, Lighthawk, thank you for giving that sub to the Unknown Master. I do love how chat, whenever they see like a front pager come in for the first time, chat's first response is to be as cursed as possible and then gift a sub. Board the station <laughs> and look for an intercom. We can sync up that way. Chat's like, here's my asshole, here's my asshole. Hey, you can stay here with us if you want. <laughs> Don't you fucking do this. Don't. It's, no, a, it's a fake. It's a fake. It's a fake. Ah! Unfucking believable right now. Unfucking believable. Yes, what? <gasps> oh, that was the Tangi Dan Bean Boozle Ball. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Five cats, don't you have a fucking meeting to go to? God damn it! I thought you said you had to go to- Go to your meeting! Stop fucking with the goddamn ping pong balls! <laughs> Ew, gross! Yuck! Wasn't me, that was five cats and a fuck your mom. Oh, well. 
<laughs> you know? Yeah, no, that's that's my fault. I didn't read the name correctly. <laughs> Maybe it's a bad meeting and you're making a better tech. I have now I now have this image of like five cats in a trench coat, basically like sitting in the meeting with the Tangia page open, and every time the meeting is annoying, just launching a ping pong ball at me. <laughs> Mm, I'm bored. No, that's lame. Hmm, I'm gonna shoot TechSmith to make myself feel better. Ah, I feel so much better now. <laughs> ah, dirty ping pong ball boy. Rub that bean boozled ball all over your face. <laughs> you it's better than smoking. <laughs> I'd go broke too fast if I did that. <laughs> hey, bud, how's it going? Hold up. This area is for SY920 military only. Yeah, I am SY920 military. I forgot my uniform. Rules are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. Uh, I just need to get to the barracks to pick up my uniform. You should have thought of that before you wandered off. Uh, it's fine. I've heard the ranking officer on the station is removing this checkpoint anyway. That doesn't sound like Commander Nataro. <laughs> She's the type to add more checkpoints, not remove them. Uh, listen, there's still other checkpoints. No one's gonna care if you let one person into the barracks. That's true. It's almost more of a hassle talking to you. <laughs> it's my special power. I won't be long. Just give me five minutes. Well, if you're quick about it, I suppose no one will notice. Um, listen, I'm on an important mission. This delay is just going to cause more headaches. It's classified too, I bet. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I can't even tell someone my own name without declassifying it first. Yeah, don't tell me your name, All bud. right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. That goes for your friend too. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll be super quick about it, bud. Don't even worry. <laughs> we broke him down. <laughs> Find a uniform, find a uniform, find a uniform. Hey, there's a uniform. Hey, authorized personnel only. Yeah, do you think I could have got to this point if I wasn't authorized? I am authorized. Only designated SY920 UC military allowed. You're not even in uniform. Yeah, but how could I have got to this point if I wasn't allowed, okay? <gasps> a quick save. Uh, that and then a single and then uh, what's this one does that do it nope uh that's not good uh and then that one yeah and then this one to fill those. Oh no! I fucked up! Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Pescadios! Ah fuck! Oh! Shit! Fuck! Undo! Piss! Auto slot? Okay. I got it. 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 Uh, so if I do that one, then I can get that wide set one like this. Yeah. Got it. You're done. Impressive. Hey, bud. I'm coming in here to get this uniform, okay? Hey, don't touch that. It's my uniform. Hey, don't touch that. It's my uniform, though. Uh, uh. Uh. Hey, don't touch that. <laughs> it's my uniform. It's my, that's my uniform, bud. Whose uniform? 
arm is it? <laughs> now! Yeah! Bad choice. <laughs> Ooh, hey, whoa, wait. Watch where you're throwing the fucking grenades there, Barrett. Ooh, ammunition. Ow! Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Ow! Stop that, you fuck! Oh, it's a fucking goddamn turret. Well, now the whole place, wait, what if I wear the, what if I wear Ensign Nagata's uniform? Look at that, there we go. Hey guys, I got my uniform on. No, I'm, I'm on your side, look. Where'd the bad guy go? Everybody get undercover! I saw him go the other way! God damn it, you guys are fucking useless. For fuck's sake! Ow. Ow. Great, now I gotta turn this whole fucking place into a goddamn experience farm. All yours. Oh, thanks, Barrett. ready for this, but I am. So this is going well. I think this is going great. I don't know why they wouldn't just give me the... Oh god, he's got an axe. Get him, Barrett, get him! Get him. Oh shit, Barrett, fuck him up! Use your grenade! Use your grenade, Barrett! Are you... Get him! Oh yeah, nice one. Oops. Oh, look at all that ammo. I got ammo for my good gun. Go ahead. Surprise. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my fucking ah! Holy shit! Barrett, are you throwing grenades around, man? Holy fucking shit. Been in a meeting for two hours. Why is tech fighting the UC Navy? They have special technology that I want. And they wouldn't give me my outfit. Ah! So the only solution left was to murder everyone. Ooh, that guy was carrying his milk around. As I guess I do as well. Look out. God. Ikabe's going to be pissed, yeah. Ikabe's probably going to be pretty pissed that this went so bad. Hey, what do you got? Almost nothing, man. Where'd you go? Oh, that's Barrett. Got him? Ooh, look at all the ammunition you guys have. Yoink. Barrett, did you just say yoink? Because I looted something? This is bad! Fucking ow! Ow! Okay. There's someone else around here. I will clear out this entire goddamn space station, motherfucker. Ah, I don't even give a fuck. Oh, a lot of them have digipicks. This is great. Has Barrett said squee to you yet? No. Barrett says squee? <laughs> Wait, so you're stopping the pirates for the UC by killing the whole UC facility? No, 
I'm tricking the UC into giving me high level access so that I can kill the pirates, steal all the stuff that the pirates have, then also kill the UC and take everything that the UC has. It's a big plan where I take everything and everybody loses except me. That's 4D chess. That's 4D chess right there. Tricking them with bullets, exactly. <laughs> um, hey, do you guys got anything else in here? What the hell was that sound effect? Holy shit! That's a first time subscriber sound effect. God damn! Itchy private. Uh, thank you for the brand new tier one sub. Holy shit. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Hell of a name. Excellent, excellent name. Uh, anything in there? Nah, nothing. They'll fit right in. <laughs> Wait, why can't I? Oh, do I need to use the computer in there to open it? Computer. Remote robot. They're all dead. Remote turret. Uh, update friend and foe. Recalibrate. Remove combat inhibitions. Confirm. Okay, turrets are active. Remote door security. Open the door. Got it. <clears throat> Thank you. I tried to be creative. You name you nailed it, Itchy Private. Well done. Holy shit. I updated the turrets. And they're doing all the work for me. Sure. I've got some time to kill. <sighs> Barrett, that sounds an awful lot like a dad joke there, man. We got laws against that, bud. That's 20 bucks, Barrett. Um, wow, I super duper did not need to un uh, unlock that. Wow, and everybody out here is already dead because I hijacked the fucking uh, turrets. Most deaf. Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon. How you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, let's see now. I could do that one and then... How many are in between? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so we do this one and then it's this one. Oh, I see. So you can, t I see now, people have said that when the circle turns blue, that means that your current one fits. So like the, t the circle goes white with this one. So this doesn't fit anywhere. This just will not fit on this, on this ring, but this one will. So that's great. That's a cool little thing to know. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so then what we need are, what's the, this one would work. If we did this one and then this one, got it. Uh -huh. Thousand uh, credits. Open. The suspense is killing me. You know, Barrett, I so appreciate you being so supportive and trying to be a part of everything that I'm doing. But Barrett, sometimes we can just be quiet together and you don't need to say anything. Uh, oh, these must be the vents that you could get around in if you wanted. <clears throat> I enjoy the lockpicking in this game a lot, but the loot you get from the lockpicking is so bad. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it is a very fun lockpick, but man, man, it fucking sucks. There's just trash in there. 
The pick pattern you select will turn the rings blue if they fit, requires the perk level 2. Helps narrow things down, especially early in the picking attempt. You can determine that some patterns don't fit any ring. Yeah, exactly, Aristotle. Those are really good. That's really, it's a nice little, uh, nice little uh, trick. I once unlocked a safe that had a single digit pick in it. Nice. It ain't been a minute since we heard that. Sorry, paying my dad joke tax. Also, I know you are busy, but we need to chat when you have time. God damn it, that was from Barrett. That was a fucking goddamn fucking <laughs> Barrett donation, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, what's this? This is Captain Juan Dayu. I made it to the command bay. I set off an alarm though. Then let's try to work through it and come up with a plan. Uh huh. Found a uniform. Be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. Yep. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. Okay. It's <clears> down. <throat> you might need a clearance code. Okay. Loot is based on difficulty settings. No way, Marfresh. Thank you. I had no fucking clue. Uh, you can call me Leo. Uh, let you know I am deaf. Nice to meet you. Wow. Actually, well, I'm. I hope the. Uh, I hope the closed captions help you out, most deaf. Um, sometimes I say weird things that don't get picked picked up by the closed captions very well uh but hey welcome to the stream it's very weird here and you're gonna see a lot of things that get real fucked up <laughs> sometimes yeah ah debbie that makes sense that makes sense <laughs> Take the caption said a bad word. Ban it. Ban him. <laughs> okay. Um, I could just kill everyone and access things that way. You've been spending too much time around Neva. Violence is a tool for the artless and brutish. It's me. This station has a lot of old arteries. The blood has gone dry, but they still connect to its heart. Look for a maintenance area that should open a path to the archival computers. Going dark for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. Okie dokie. Artless and brutish invasion on the way. Oh, look, these guys. Well, you better hurry. You know what they say, Marine. If yeah. you're 15 minutes early, you're still 10 minutes late. Yeah, you betcha. On my, on my fucking way. Find information on the comm spike. Need your clearance code, Marine. Uh, must have gotten turned around. Sorry, bud. I'll say. You might want to track down your commanding officer and have him clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map. Great. Now I'm going to kill everybody again. One NPC was mildly rude to me, and my ego can't handle that, so now I need to murder everybody here. I can't. Oh man, did they patch it out? Did they patch out the ability to steal these? Oh man. You can get it lined up the crack. Ah, oh, it's it's totally fucking useless. It's fucking trash. Oh man. You have that useless fucking suit behind a master lock? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You guys got some vents? Ooh, a vent. Hey, what's that? A comm relay. I wonder if that's useful. Alright, this is much easier than trying to trick them all. Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me. 
Just making my way around. Sure, nobody can see me or hear me up here. Ooh, chunks. Ooh, beer. Okay. I'm in. Uh, hey, what's this do? Open door. Sure hope that doesn't fuck everything up. Uh, ooh, what's that? Ooh, grapes and lettuce? Mmm, tasty. What does this one do? Same thing. Watch for patrols? I don't need to watch for patrols. I'm allowed to be in here, okay? I have my... You didn't see anything. <laughs> oh. Whoops. I don't recognize your face, Ensign. Are you new? Uh, no. Are you new? I've been here for 23 years. When did you start? <laughs> Projects. Tom Spike. Project leading permissions. Upgrade security clearance. Tom Spike proposal. Project approvals. Okay. What's this Svalin? I mean, I could read it to learn, but I'd rather, honestly, not. Uh, what do I need to do for the quest now? Uh, go to Engineering Bay 4. Oh, that's easy. I've got the upgraded security clearance and everything. Yeah? Uh, open door. Hey guys, how's it going? I've got the security clearance to be here, so don't question me. Ooh, another lockpick. <laughs> Hi, new viewer. How's the game? Uh, I'm actually the streamer. I'm not a new viewer, but the game's very good. No! I didn't actually want to fucking do that. Ah, piss. Fucking shit, man. Oh. Okay, wait. Undo. Okay, so the fact, okay, so the fact that it turns blue doesn't mean that it's a right choice. It just means that it technically fits, right? Yeah. So this might not even be one for this. Um, if we do that, then we can do this one. Yeah, blue equals fits, not equals right answer. It's important to fucking know. Boop. Boop. Got it. That didn't. Uh, no. Take long at all. Red says you owe the chat the dead joke tax. Wait, what? You better sleep. I ain't paying nobody else's goddamn dad know. joke tax. You sure you have clearance? Yeah, I have clearance. I like to line up everyone before I commit because you can even line up the inner ones too. Wait, what do you mean line up the inner ones? How do you do that, Amazing Amanda? You said the joke? Wait, what did I say for a joke? Wait, what? Wait, when did I say a dad joke? Back to your boast, Ensign. I don't take kindly to loiterers. Can you please turn on the tangents? We need to welcome the new chatters properly. No, not on Star Tech. Not on Star Tech days. Can plan ahead for the interval. Oh, with your eyes. I see. I gotcha. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Dan! Dan! Dan, I 
think I double blapped? What the fuck? Dan, that stupid fucking cannon! Fucking goddamn fucking stupid goddamn piece of shit fucking cannon ass. Holy fuck! <laughs> there should be a 1 in 500 chance for a Tangio party to unload every ping pong ball in the launcher into the back of your head. That would actually be pretty funny. <laughs> Toonie Tuesday, two balls for one. Great. I hate it. <laughs> If you talk to Dan, he might be able to make that happen. Which would be very funny. And also fucking terrible. Uh, okay, I think I gotta go downstairs. Yep. I swear you're gonna have PTSD later in life from this. Yeah, definitely. A little pregnant building. I'm feasting now so that later in life I can be fucked up. <laughs> can Dan give us a machine gun option for sixty dollars all balls unload? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. We'd have to have to talk to Dan about it though. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of uh, two. Uh -huh. But we won't tell Commander Natar. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Is it fucking loyal? <laughs> you really want that? How many balls are in there? I already programmed it uh, in. I just never enabled it. Holy fuck, Dan. Listen, six balls. Holy shit. <laughs> that sounds way too dangerous. Way, way too dangerous. But also it does kind of sound like fun. <laughs> That's at least four too many. I don't know. It sounds like the perfect amount. <laughs> Your full name is Tech Danger Elizabeth Smith. That's me. Actually, I think it was tied to the ammo sensor, which I hard coded in as has ammo since I never added it. So we just shoot forever. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Listen, we'd probably fucking break the goddamn thing. Um. Okay, let's see. Can push a little update just to shoot, shoot six times. I wonder how that would work. Um, let's see. Go find me for a reverse corkscrew 20 round drum. Oh my fucking God. 20 fucking ping pong balls. <laughs> Uh, doing a routine check of the comm spike. I need access to the device. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. <clears throat> um, security decryption on that level has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. 
Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Wow, kind of sounds like a scary scientist. Call the redemption for it, mortgage payment. Yeah, exactly, to weapon. <laughs> 55 gallon drum full of balls? Okay, Itchy Private is way too quickly picking up on chat energy. Um, I'd be a good pilot. I love adventure. Yes. It's not the destination, but the journey that matters. <laughs> Particularly when the destination is death. <laughs> but don't worry. We've corrected the problem with the ship's life support systems, and statistical models show a failure rate of less than 2%. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Betray Juan. There's no time. The captain of the Jade Swan is trying to steal the comm spike. I need to secure the prototype ship immediately. <gasps> Whoa. I mean, listen, my plan is to betray everyone. In the end, I'm gonna burn everyone and steal it all for myself. Do I start that now? Swan was nice to you. I know, but the thing is, I do plan to betray everyone. I'd wait, should I wait? This is the only thing is like, what if I play my hand too early, right? I need to uh, do it. Want a minor tidbit revolving uh, your idea? Uh, um, it's not major. All right, I'll have a I'll have a minor tidbit. Sure. If it's something that perhaps I could have already known. Um, Dan sent me a firmware update. Um, ba ba bum bum. Oh, wow. All right. I would need to do that off stream. I don't understand it. It's very complicated. <laughs> there are evidence pieces mentioned early on. If you find them, that's what really puts them away. If you want prison time, if you want murder time, you just sort of do that. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I'm not interested in prison time. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I am definitely fully interested in the murder path. Yeah, probably don't do it now. Yeah, I won't do it right now. I'll I'll uh, I'll set that up after stream chat. I'll I'll uh, I'll take a look at what exactly that is. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Juan's gonna steal the comm spike. Steal the comm spike? Why? Who is this person? Uh. You know what? On second thought, never mind. Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> Her name is Juan Dayu. She's with the Crimson Fleet. Damn space pirates. Say no more. I will contact Commander Natara immediately. Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Dr. Vogel, don't do this. Do not. Dr. Vogel, don't. Commander Natara, this is Dr. Vogel. What is it now, Doctor? We have an intruder on board. Captain Juan Dayu is not who she says. Wait, Dayu? She was one of the captains on Messina's list. Apparently, she's with the Crimson Fleet. And she's after my comm spike. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll sound the alarm and have a strike team directed toward the cargo bay. Good. I have a pilot here. I'll have them secure the prototype and make sure it's safe. You are a pilot, aren't you? You've got the look, at least. Take this key card. It'll give you access to docking bay eight. I need you to make sure my prototype is safe. Is yeah! Immediately. This is a red alert. I repeat, this is a red alert. Captain Juan Dayu is being oh, fuck. 
Damn, man! Lost I fucking did it! <laughs> Let's go! Think you could have just pickpocketed the key card? I actually you don't know how to pickpocket to this in this game. Activate. Board. Oh, you need to get the skill. I gotcha. Yeah, I don't have that hey, skill yet. Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? No, Barrett, you can't. Barrett, God. <laughs> Fuck, man, dude. Okay. This plan worked amazingly. Hailing all UC ships. The intruder has the prototype. Engage at once. Wait, what? Engaging Tango. Wait. Why are they at me now? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, it's an unexplored route. Shit. See you nerds later, idiots. Two, one. Woo! See you idiots later! <laughs> and I'm fucking gone. Nice one. Way to go, TechSmith. You stole that spaceship. Uh, we can go to... Chieny! Uh... Fly to here. Boop. I just need to talk to you about your ship's extended warranty. No! <laughs> I feel like I'm watching uh, Mar the Movie Part 1 White Ink. No fucking kidding, right, Linz? Absolutely. And here we go. Off we go to the key. I find it somewhat silly that they put a grav jump drive in a ship that they couldn't afford to lose. Yeah, well, they're fucking idiots. Listen, the dumbass pirates have been running circles around these guys. I think it's been proven that they're not the most intelligent. You guys heard that fucking Microsoft had all of their plans and all of their documents for the next, for up until 2030 leaked today? So listen, people do some real dumb shit with real sensitive information. <laughs> How bad is it? It's pretty fucking bad. There's like new fucking consoles being made and all sorts of shit. Yeah, it's bad. Something for you. That was the government, I think, not Microsoft, though, right? Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, you know, the point is that, listen, people can treat very sensitive information with a lot of a cavalier. Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So you want to wonder why they'd put a fucking, an irreplaceable comm spike? on a on a fucking grav drive ship that they can't afford to lose uh listen people be doing dumb shit all the time <laughs> is Mina seeing anyone right now Patient. <clears throat> uh wait where's the arrows there's no arrows seven out of ten game i got lost Ooh, 
wait, was that a comm spike? No, it's polytextile, which I don't know what that is either. All right. Hey, I got your comm spike there, bud. Tries to see me, Rhett? Delgado may let it slide, but I don't take kindly to snitches. Hey, Juan. Real shocked to see you here. Didn't think you were going to make it. I had no choice. I had no... Uh, listen, sorry about that. Save your stories for the fool who believed them. You screwed me out of the most lucrative route I have. It's going to take me months to set up something even remotely as good. Not to mention getting the UC off of my trail. Story. <laughs> Quick, pocket sand. <laughs> Time to blast your way out of this, bud. Well... Time for me and my pistol and Mr. Grenade Man to get me out of this problem too. You forgot the golden rule, snitches end up in ditches. Yeah. Um, I was the one who took all the risk. You were halfway back to Sora by the time I found the comm spike. Don't put this on me. I got you in and gave you cover. You decided to return that favor by blowing mine. You may have fooled Delgado and Neva, but I don't trust you, Rook. At this point, you better find that legacy. Because to me, that's the only saving grace you've got. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. I got caught. <laughs> Whoops. I think it'll be okay, though. She seems very forgiving. God damn it, Aristotle, for fuck's sake. Don't tell me Shinya ran out of errands. Delgado! Thanks for making me look good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. Well. Del Delgado. 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 Del Jasmine tells me that you not only brought us to come, Spike but an entire prototype UC ship. I'm impressed, Rook. Very impressed. The pirates are known for their compassion. I'm sure it'll be fine. Exactly. <laughs> Fell off in your car with your pants down. Why do you even wear pants? I don't. Well, no, that's not true. I sometimes do. It gets cold without pants on. Um, Comp Spike was built into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She's actually pretty pissed, in case you didn't notice. Claims you blew a cover. What? If Juan doesn't like how things have gone, and she wants to bail out her share, that's her problem. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comm spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. <clears throat> All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Uh huh, uh huh. I worry that everything's hinging on Jazz getting the tech to work. Hey, my girl can piece together a jump engine with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. So, cut the crap. The only thing you need to worry about is bringing the tech home. All right, all right. Infighting isn't going to get us to the legacy any faster, Neva. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. 
She's had her deft little fingers on the pulse of Neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. Um... I trust you aren't implying anything with that. No. <laughs> hey, good morning, sounding. Flame says, my girl just made me look up. Turns out I'm actually still gay, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, whatever. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Technically, we already answered to you, but no, point taken. No, Barrett, shut up, Barrett. And God, you what the fuck, here, Barrett? You will not like the answers I give. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind girl loves her liquor and keep your eyes on the price neon's one big distraction for people like us so i want you focused we are one step away from quits legacy and we cannot afford any screw-ups yeah 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 i don't fucking bear it right jumps in with that line nice one barrett thanks man this so this is crazy chat this is all a side quest this was literally all instigated because I got caught by the police one time. And this is literally none of this is main campaign. This is an insane side mission. I'm only stationed on the key until the heat dies down. Then it's a faction quest line. But still, like, holy fuck. I can't read, so I can't follow letters. Damn, that's the way to do it. Are you looking to start something? Ah, fuck. I meant to get in my ah, cockpit. Oh, sweet home. Now, where did I leave my cozy slippers? Hmm. Got a moment? Wait. Let's catch up. Hello, Captain. Aha, there we go. Oh, wow, Fuzzball. I was wondering. Well... Nice to see you. There you go. Some shit, right? I'm pretty sure you can only start this entire faction by getting the initial arrest, too. Wow. Do you still have your adoring fan? I took him off the ship, Flame. I was so sick of hearing the fucking adoring fan every time I went to take off or land that I moved him off the fucking ship. <laughs> I was so done with that shit. <laughs> hates us no just him definitely just him did you at least leave him on a habitable planet i don't know where i left him i think he's just i think he's unassigned so he's just floating in the void of nothingness what's worse adoring fan or barrett Hard fucking question to answer. Barrett is constantly trying to talk to me. But Adoring Van is constantly just talking. It's like the limpets all over again. Man, that was some good shit. Uh, oh, hey. <laughs> I got a dock with the Vigilance. Do you think they're going to be upset that I murdered a bunch of them? Do you think, do you think the fact that I killed like a hundred UC is going to be like <laughs> quick save? <laughs> Not if you told him it was just a prank. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I'll say it was just a joke, bro. You mad? Then they literally will be forced to admit that it's not a big yes. deal. Fucking perfect play. Sysdef Marines are the best of the best. 
What can I do for you? Hey guys. Hey, I want to talk to you right now. Yeah? I have masks breathing down my neck. They're ready to shut down this entire operation. You open fire on SY920 and kill people. Just who the hell do you think you are? Uh... My back was to the wall. No, it wasn't. You just chose the easy way out. I've tried <gasps> to be patient with you, but my patience and your time with Sisdef is at an end. You're under arrest. Lieutenant Toft will escort you to the brig immediately, and I expect you to go peacefully. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand what you expect, bud. You ain't putting me in a cage, motherfucker! Gods, stop them! Sis Def is now your enemy. Is this how you thought it was gonna go, but? You guys could have just left me alone and everything would have been fine, okay? This all could have gone way better, buds. Now I gotta take all your loot. I gotta take all your money and all your ammo. Is this how you wanted this to go? sink the ship with all this evidence i know all right i guess we're with the pirate holy fuck barrett hey barrett take it easy holy shit man ow kill him barrett Get him, Barrett! Dude, ow. Ah. Nice one, Barrett. Fuck him up. Are we the baddies? No, we're not the baddies, okay? <laughs> hey, good afternoon, Danky. How the frickin' heck are you doing? Hey, Lord, find your seats, stow your belongings. Uh, so what, what exactly absolute power travel to neon? Uh, well, I guess we, uh, I guess we kind of, uh, wait. Oh yeah, there it is. <clears throat> okay. Guess we're going to neon. Uh, 
Uh, just got an A on my first intro to psych exam. Fucking nice one, Danky. Fuck yeah, goddamn giant goddamn brain. <sighs> hey, Viv, I just got a chill corner and my cat is laying on my... Uh, on the back of my couch watching the fish and fighting a nap to keep watching. Okay, that's pretty fucking cute, Viv. <laughs> okay, and now we're heading over to Neon. Well, it is unfortunate that... Um, Cannot travel while the ship is docked. Oh, fuck. It's unfortunate that we had to kill the entire UC defense. Hey, Dusty, if you're ever thinking to yourself, ah, oh, I could Do really you actually listen think to you stand a chance against the entire right system now. fleet? Then instead of dreaming about bring that pirate me, stop by and say hello, okay? Uh-oh. Now, there's part of this that I didn't quite think all the way through. Don't lose them. Blah, blah. So listen. Part of the problem is now that the entire enemy fleet's after me. I don't have a lot of other options. Oops. Damn it, I hate that fucking reload is the same button as loot. Oh, oh my head. Oh, for the love of Barrett, are you okay there, bud? You're fine, bud. You're fine. Okay, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's hey, the plan. You might want this. Okay, and... Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, let's go to... Here. And there. Set course, jump. You actually think you stand a chance against the entire system fleet? Oh my god, he's oh, level 100 fucking jump! <laughs> See you suckers later! <laughs> wow. Well, when we're Welcome level 100, we're gonna have to come back and blow that up. maintain your current course while we scan your ship? And that's it. Enjoy Neon. I'm gonna come back there and kill them all. You're really gonna double down on this one? Vanguard, when I'm a higher level, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sink the entire UC fleet. Starting with that level 100 motherfucker. I'm gonna take them all down. The <laughs> Tech Smith double down, you're goddamn right. Boo, bitch. Pro tip, more points you go into grav drive, the faster you'll go into grav mode. Yeah, yeah, great galactic. Definitely, I uh, mostly didn't want to fuck with my systems um, while I was jumping, and I was just hoping that three pips was enough. Murder hobo? No, I'm not a murder hobo, okay? The yeah. NPC- Hey, uh, when you're not busy, let's chat. Uh, come on! <laughs> Your ship is ugly yeah, AF. Shield. It's part of the Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. My ship is not ugly, it's gorgeous. Look at this. What a beautiful ship. I love my ship. That's big mama exactly. Welcome to Neon. Doesn't even look like a penis. Uh, you know what? 
You got me on that. Well, it kind of does a little bit. Don't forget to get the tentacle clothes from Neon. Oh, yeah. I forgot Amazing Amanda. Definitely going to have to get that. Hey, guys. Don't how's it going? Move, what the hell is this about? Cut the act. Sniffers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. All right. Get up slowly and turn around. Okay. You're fine. I don't, I don't feel like I need to get involved. It should look like a vagina. Don't worry, Snedge. Eventually, I will remake Big Mama. And uh, it will look like... Well, you know what? I don't know what it'll look like, but it'll look like something. Stay safe, buddy. Hey guys, how's it going? Madame Sauvage's place. Okay. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double the going rate. What? You think this stuff falls from the sky? Do you want me to, you want me to kill Look, him? I've bought Aurora on the street before, and I've never paid this much. I can make him pay. It's still cheaper than buying it at the Astro Lounge. Now, this is the last time I'm gonna ask. Then I'm walking away. Do you want this stuff or not? <laughs> I'm glad you play the scorched earth, batshit, crazy, blow everything and everyone away path. I can't do it. To be fair, I was trying to, I was trying to walk the line. Be a pirate, but also be a cis deaf guy. Okay. And then, uh, you know, one, one small slip of a ship's worth of casualties and suddenly the cis deaf doesn't want to work with me. When? When I chose not to blow up the luxury cruiser, er, okay? <laughs> that was a pretty good guy move. You looking to get zoned? Yeah, man, I'm fucking looking to get, I'm looking for you. Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Ah, uh, man, Estelle, don't do this. I just had to murder an entire fucking military ship worth of soldiers. I don't want to keep killing everybody. <gasps> I have just returned from the mall and I'm happy to report that the tiny backpack is back in fashion in small town Canada. <gasps> How could a backpack so tiny hold all my dreams? Kay, did you buy a tiny backpack? That's amazing. I want a tiny backpack now. I did not? Oh. Well, I might have to go out later and buy myself a tiny backpack. <laughs> you bored or something? I mean, I could go do something I'm else. I'm talking to chat, Estelle! Shut up! Holy fuck. God damn. Um, I'm getting, pretty, I'm getting pretty tired of being called a rook. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. I've dealt with Bayou in the past. He's got a clear set of goals, I'll give you that. Uh-huh. Cry me a river. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Fine. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm going to make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. I don't know what any of that is. Sounds easy enough. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, 
I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Yeah. Okay, I am interested in making more money. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdine has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their data banks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Okay. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdine and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdine's got their place locked down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass and you'll have the run of the place. There's gotta be a catch. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like sex. Um, whoa, what the fuck? I took on the Ryujin quest line here and decided to do it all in one go. Took me 20 fucking hours. I've been in Neon for 40 hours now. Holy shit. <laughs> Smells like sex too. Mm. <gasps> Smells like future sex. Everyone's having lesbian sex in space. <laughs> yeah, there is so much yeah, in this game. Holy so, fuck. Uh, you gonna say something? I'm talking to chat. Shut up. Um, okay, bye. Watch your step. Benjamin Bayou has eyes everywhere. Yeah, I fucking bet. I'll blast him out. I need to talk with you. Barrett, I'm never talking to you again, man. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. No, we will not chat, Barrett! Oh my god, it could be Whoa, Holy whoa, fuck. bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. I can handle myself. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the ebbside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, kind of wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. The tunnel snakes rule! Yeah, that's good to know. Sure, sure. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation come on might be saving my life what with the disciples and all have a heart uh fucking a thousand credits a thousand nah sorry man <laughs> story of my life I'm, I'm sure I'll come back and I'll give him credits later. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to grab jump over here. Uh, optional, locate evidence to extort Ayumi. Or ask Micah about Ayumi Kumiko's whereabouts. Another zoning meeting at Mass has resulted in a stalemate. Several areas currently zoned as residential are seeking to allow home based Seagart's outfitters. Hey, you guys got a tentacle outfit? I heard there was a tentacle outfit over here. Now isn't the best time. But I need to talk with you later. I'm feeling a little burnt out. I think I need a break. Barrett, I'm not going to talk to you. Now is not a good time. Please have a good look around. You know. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, 
You don't need it. I need a 12-headed penis right now. It's quite a bold claim. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. <laughs> so take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Uh, okay, sounds good. Quite, a, quite an impressive shop. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. I don't give a fuck. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Oh no! I do. Can I buy something from you or what? I'm trying to buy some fucking goddamn hentai tentacle clothes. I don't give a shit about your fucking debt, bud. Uh, sounds like someone didn't do proper financial planning to me. You'd think that was the case, but I promise you, I budgeted for everything. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. Yes. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? And you got some tentacle clothes, maybe I will. You won't find a better selection anywhere else. Okay, what do you got? Poncho, fish worker mask, street wear, leather wear. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Corporal wear. <laughs> that's actually fucking cool as shit. Okay, you got some good clothes. I'll give you that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, goodness gracious me. Um, <laughs> cowboy hat. Hey, there's no, there's no tentacle clothes here. Wait, maybe it's a, maybe it's a spacesuit. I'm not seeing any tentacles. Oh, it's a neon dancer thing. It's a hat. Wait, these are all helmets. Uh, apparel. This one? There's like eight shops in neon. Oh! That's not tentacles. There's a shirt combo somewhere else. Oh! Hat and suit for the neon dancer outfit. Oh, okay, so there's no neon dancer... Um... Outfit here. These are kind of cool, though. Seven hundred and thirty-five. How much do I have? I've got a hundred and fifty-seven thousand credits. Uh, well. Hey, you want to buy some shit from me? <laughs> I've got like a bunch of shit that I really don't want. Uh, you need the Pinocchio hat in this game? No, fuck. <laughs> uh, hey, do I have any guns that I don't want? Yeah, here, you can buy that knife. I don't want that. Heller's cutter, I gotta keep. Oh, here, you can have that refined Eon. Uh, I got an extra helmet. Of oh, no, I need that. It's legendary. I have a shrapnel grenade. All right. See you later, bud. You don't have the fucking tentacle outfit. The All right. I have something for you. I don't want it, Barrett. I don't want it. I well, don't want it. Borealis. You know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around. The Astro Lounge. Not really my cup of tea. Where's another clothing? Free Star Rangers. Nope. Uh, apartments, liquors. New Will's Goods? Hey, do you have clothing? We have hey. Welcome to New Will's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. 
Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, can I just fucking buy your shit? Um, okay, yeah, healthy competition is one of the cornerstones of owning a business. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Seagert, normal commerce practices go right out the window. Here comes another backstory. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community <laughs> on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. What a monster. Anyways, can I buy your shit? Uh, maybe you should just mind your own business. You're completely missing the point. This is everyone's business. Unless all of the merchants on Neon Unify will continue to be crushed under Neon Security's unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. It's a fucking absolutely wild way to say hi to a first time customer. I'd like to buy something. Sure, have a look. Uh, what do you got? Fish worker mask, leather wear, urban wear. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. You don't have this shit either. Nobody's got this fucking Watch tentacle your back outfit. Out there. Imagine walking into Walmart and the owner starts yakking at you the moment you step inside looking to buy a shirt, right? I just want to buy a shirt. The fucking owner of Walmart's like, hey, you know, we got to unionize or we won't be able to do it. Okay, then unionize. What the? I just want to buy a fucking shirt, bud. Uh, okay, not sea carts. That's a hotel. What do we got here? Enhance. Look at you. Beautiful, unique, original, bored. Ever look in the mirror and wish you could see another version of you? Now is the time to enhance your life. Here at Enhance, we offer a full range of cosmetic and biological services. Wow. For just a few credits, our certified technicians. What's this? Neon, uh, your security. Oh. Who's this guy? Wow, this is a cool town. Benjamin Bayou's time. It's big. Terra Brew Coffee. Ebside. Eh. What's this? Ooh, Emporium. Okay, well, the tentacle outfit sounds pretty impressive. Let's fucking buy the fucking goddamn fucking tentacle outfit. Hey, um, Why did you when you're not busy, here? let's chat. You said you wanted to buy something nice for your girlfriend, so you Holy can't. shit. Welcome to the Emporium. Do you think I suddenly inherited a fortune? Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like hey, one of her usual so clientele. <sighs> yes, I all all that matters is that I bought credits to spend and I want a tentacle outfit. Oh, my apologies then. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few shall we say thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock. Who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, kill him. You mean kill him? Even if I wanted to, well, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. I don't know about that. They'll just send somebody worse then. Barrett, I don't care. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? I need a tentacle outfit. Cash only, please. Uh, oh, you don't even fucking sell anything, man. What is this? An alien bug paperweight? A desktop sundial? Personal groom? Oh, actually, you know what? I could probably use a personal groomer. <laughs> What's this? Solomon's calculations. Holy fuck. Dude, you're a bug store. 
It was good to have you in my shop. Farewell. Hey, Fuck. um, when you're not busy... I am always busy, Barrett. I am always I busy. For you. I don't care, Barrett. I don't want it. You didn't hear this one. Here's premier financial institution. Have you tried one of our advanced It's for the house you won't make because you're a murder hobo. Wait, what? Uh, Astral Lounge. Astral Lounge, Lounge spared no. Hey, um, when you're not busy, bold, let's chat. Barrett, ask again. I'll shoot you, bud. Barrett just wants to give you some cock. No, he wants to give me some more goddamn Marsala. Barrett, put your hand up and chat like everyone else. Exactly. Barrett, if you have a question, you raise your fucking hand. Why do you keep him around if you hate him talking to you? The robot's so much cooler anyway. Uh, because I don't know how to shuffle my teammates. They just give me whoever they give me, and I just play on through. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. <sighs> okay, let's settle this once and this for all. Place. Welcome. Please. Make yourself comfortable. You I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. <laughs> See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out cold. Um, By the third chimera, you're floating on frickin' cloud nine. Hey, shut up back there. I'm having a conversation. I'm looking for Ayumi yeah, Komiko. Right. No, no, no not this again. <laughs> You oh. people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Uh, I have some documents for her to sign. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. <laughs> you debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. It's nothing personal, friend. I'm no debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. The... the Crimson Fleet? Yeah. Oh my, I'm sorry. Yeah. I have no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Yeah. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. That's fair, I'm probably gonna kill Ayumi her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, <laughs> you know... I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Yes, you are! Don't... There's no fucking way you are going to charge me 5,000 credits. Uh, then I'll, I'll fucking wait. Whatever you wish. I'm gonna find another way in. Enjoy no your now drinks. isn't the best time. I'm gonna you find could. another way in. Is this the members' lounge? Give me the key! <laughs> Give me the fucking key! God damn it! I don't want to pay five thousand. It's sex and drugs. I know. I don't want to pay to get back there for all the sex and drugs. Take it easy. Come in and let your cares melt away for a while. Certainly. Now you do understand that the fee is for unlimited use and that it's non-refundable. <sighs> yes, here's your 5,000 fucking credits. I can't wait to kill everybody and take all their money. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. You can have a nice woman give a peck on the cheek and smoke lavender. I mean, that sounds pretty fucking sweet. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> You're still it's giving the NPCs all the money? Yeah, punch. apparently. See, this is why I end up going the murder hobo route. They're all trying to take my money. Oh, I was supposed to go get dirt on her so I could blackmail her. That's how you avoid spending the money. Oh, well. Oh, well, I'll get the money back. 
Yeah. What do you want? Uh, I need a way to get into the Jennerdine power facility. Uh, you <laughs> must be zoned out of your mind because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I can't. No, I'm not going to. Uh, the Crimson Fleet's asking, not me. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. <laughs> so tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Jennerdine? Um, what if she has like a recording device on her? I shouldn't be fucking just telling her shit. Ah, fuck. I'm after the conduction grid tech, I guess. So let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne uh -huh. so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. Uh-huh. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. <sighs> I don't have to pay you a single credit. Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here, you don't pay, you don't get the pass. Chat, chat, sometimes I wish I was a different person. Get the hell away from me! Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm Bobby goddamn Chicago! Take it. Ow! Come on! Huh? Yeah! You want some? <laughs> oh, buddy. For fuck's sake! Fuck! This isn't who you are. Listen! I'm sorry, Barrett! Paid 5,000 just to blast our way in anyways. Yep. Listen, things have gone a little off the rails here. I don't know what happened. Somehow, some things got fucked up. Things went a little wild and crazy. You know, I lost track of all the moving parts. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you may want to reload this one? Yeah, I think I'll reload. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Listen, she challenged, she said that I couldn't kill everyone in there. So I had to show that I could kill everyone now in there. Now the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Let's go get that blackmail information. I think we're going to need that. She was just so damn sassy. I know all these NPCs are so fucking sassy. Hey, you might want this. Okay, let's go get some evidence to extort her. <laughs> you know, the good guy option. The clothes are in Newell's goods. Uh, wait, didn't I try Newell's? I don't think they had it there. Also, hey Tech, hope you're doing well. Hey Rory, I am doing fantastic. I hope you're doing well. 
Don't forget to F5 this time before talking to anyone. Yeah, I know. I got to get better at that. I have something for you. Oh, the lady sells things in New Orleans. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Uh-huh. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Uh, a tour would have been nice. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff too. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, <laughs> but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I like how this guy is the first non-sassy person and immediately apologizes. See, this is how you don't get killed by Bobby Chicago. Everyone's real sore in this game. <laughs> um, why are you used to being so open with this kind of sensitive information? Why? because I'm sick and tired of putting on a corporate face and pretending that nothing's wrong. It's do or die time around here. We can either spin our wheels forever or worse, go under completely. Oh, uh, if you don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen. Tell me all the sensitive information. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Uh, sounds like you need a new person in charge of R&D. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you. The man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Uh, you have to man up and fire the guy. I actually need our CEO's approval for that. And so far, it's been denied. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I've worked at a place like this. I have this. a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou. But I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? <sighs> if you're worried about this company, then send that report to Administrator Bayou. Yeah. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look, uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. Oh, I'm so glad I can help. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, Feel free to ask. I need to get in and steal the stuff that you have. Hey, do you have some uh, anything about Ayumi Komiko? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Oh, it's going to get you into serious trouble. Do you suspect she's involved in anything illegal? Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Um, I promise it's just between us. I wish I could, but if anybody found out, I'd help you. Fuck. I think you're making too much of this. I just need a little information, that's all. Okay, I get it. I just need a second to think. Yeah. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before oh. you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Whoa! Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Yeah, you got it, bud. Holy fuck. Thanks, man. Holy shit. Hope to see you again soon. Man, you went from I can't tell you anything to I will unlock her safe for you in a real big hurry. Tevin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want a piece of that. Huh. Um, ooh, what do you got in here? Oh, I can novice level. Let's 
So that's for the second level. Um, we got two close to each other, so we're gonna need like, uh, oh, we can, oh, maybe this one, and then this guy. And then we got this one there. And, oh fuck! What? I fucked up. Fucking piss. Fucking piss. God damn it, man. I fucked up so bad. <sighs> Fuck. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Oh. It's supposed to be novice level? This is way too fucking hard for novice. What? So then is it like, uh, this guy? No, I did that. Fuck. Is it then like, uh, huh? Did you save before touching the safe? Nope. <laughs> you realize the way it turns blue when the piece will fit, right? Yeah. And so the thing is, I, I, I clicked all the pieces that fit, but I used them in the wrong order. So I ran out of pieces. It was too easy, and I fucked myself over. Is it really? I don't know what I did to fuck it up last time. Um, so I need the two that are close together. Aha, here it is. I got it. I got it. Security reminder. Your security software has expired. Oh. Automated update. Update available. There was nothing. I admire your knowledge of how these. Now is the best time. Fuck. I need to talk with you later. Uh. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, 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 run. No, 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 no. Me on security. Fuck. Uh. I'm happy to pay the fine, but maybe you don't need to search me for contraband. I can't remember if I already searched you. I must have, right? Let's go back to the station. <laughs> Fucking. Hey, you might want this. Hey, guys. Hey, where's my stuff? Wait. Do I still have all my stuff? I do. Wow, you got a whole bunch of contraband over here. Oh, <gasps> black market antiquities. Fuck. I hope Bear just sat outside your cell, talked about his feelings finally. Yeah, that sounds about right, huh? Fuck. All right. So you're telling me. Well. This is becoming the most goddamn expensive hey, fucking quest this. line ever. What? Look at you. Beautiful. <sighs> and I got my stuff, right? Pretty sure I got my stuff. What do I got? Um Optional, use evidence to extort Kamiko. All right, let's fucking extort them. Be sure you never find yourself on the wrong end of the... You meant to make money? Yeah, I fucking know. It ain't working out well for me. Okay, now we're gonna... We're gonna walk up to here. Okay, now we're going to quick save. Velocity? Or I like Welcome. Please, I can offer you a... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking for Ayumi Kamiko. No, no, you people should leave that. Um, none of your business. Bullshit. 
It is my... You debt collectors are... Now, get out of my... It's nothing personal. Uh, I'm with the Crimson Fleet. The... The Crimson... Sorry, I... I yeah, Ozil. I right. If you want to talk, to, of course. I, to mix a drink like that anyway. okay. I still need to pay the five thousand. Excellent. Please let us. God damn it! You're hey, always uh, welcome here. When you're not busy, let's chat. Yeah, you better fucking step back, fucking Barrett. Holy fuck! Okay. Looks like you need to read that. Me? Huh? Um, Who said that? Which of you said that to me? Okay. Hey, Ayumi. Yeah. What? Do you I need a. I need a way into Jennerdine. Uh, you must be. Um. Here, I help me or this evidence of your scheme with Bayu ends up on SSNN. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. Good. I'm warning you though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Thanks. If you get caught in Jenner, die, that's time, on you. But I need to talk Good with luck. you. Later. Shoot on sight. Now you're speaking my language. Okay. They will shoot on sight or tech will. It'll be a fucking race. Talk to Barrett. I'd rather die. Bye, Barrett. God damn fucking Barrett trying to fucking talk to me. Whoa, we're above an ocean? Wow, that's actually really cool. What a neat world. Move Jesus, imagine if someone imagine said that to you, Techsmith. I'd rather die imagine. than talk to you. I don't need to imagine five cats. I'm a streamer, okay? In fact, five cats, I think you might have said that to me before. <laughs> Shit, did I go the wrong way? I did. I went the wrong goddamn way. I have something for you. Oh, yeah, that's nice, Barrett. I don't give a fuck, man. Ooh. I know now isn't the best time. But I need Ooh, to ammunition, to ammunition. Man, you guys just. Kiefer? Sutherland? Synapse Alpha. But I guess we'll just fucking dominate my Omega Bussy. Hey guys, how's it going? You guys doing all right? Nobody better shoot me. You guys just... Well! This is bad. Looks like we're going this way, huh? Yep! Well! Oh boy. Catch. When you say you wish Barrett would shut up, I refuse to do the thing that will shut him up. What you're really saying is you're lonely and you want Barrett to keep talking to you, right? No, it means I want Barrett to deal with his own shit. I don't want to be Barrett's goddamn fucking emotional problem sounding board. Oh, hey. Uh, Barrett, I think you just killed a bunch of scientists, dude. Sorry. 
Barrett! These are the scientists! That's a technician, Barrett! Holy shit, Barrett's more bloodthirsty than I am. God damn! Fuck. And accept. Ow! <laughs> Got him. Find anything worth selling or using? Uh, wow, Barrett. You sure you don't? Barrett, don't kill them. That's a technician. Barrett, don't do it. Don't do it, Barrett. They just work here. <laughs> Fucking Barrett wanted to hunt that person down. Ooh, gases. <gasps> New suit? What's it got? Fucking trash. Fucking trash. Uh, hey guys, uh, you got that thing that I need? Proceed to Genodyne's power core. I lost them. Ow. Oh, fuck. Hey, I found some vents. Barrett says no witnesses. Run before Barrett gets here. <laughs> you don't want to be here when Baron comes up through the when Barrett comes up through the vents. Hey, Barrett, nobody's here, bud. You can put the gun away. Oh, God, Barrett's fucking... Barrett's feeling young again. <laughs> Tech, Barrett's been wanting this to talk to you working. about his uncontrollable rage this whole time. God, run! Run now! He's coming! No, Barrett! No! Barrett, let them go! <laughs> God, please, Barrett. No. <laughs> They're innocent. Holy shit, Barrett. God damn. Run. Run, 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 run. Go. Run before Barrett gets here. Run. All right. Okay. You created this no, monster. No. Dude, you gotta go. You gotta go. You don't wanna be here. Run, 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 run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave. Leave before Merrick gets here. Now that's a soldier. See, Barrett? Those are the guys we can kill. Okay, good. They're all clearing out. I can't do this. Save the robots, too. Run, little robots. Oh. I'm getting to safety. Barrett the Destroyer is here. Ow. This is Ow. The Roombas are fleeing before Barrett the Destroyer. Okay. Pick up some loot. You guys got any like super secret good shit anywhere? Ooh, what's this? Is this locked? <gasps> Exploders. <clears throat> Run! Don't be here when Barrett arrives. Ooh, chocolate bars. Ooh, chunks. Ooh, grapes. Ooh, coffee. Hi, Barrett. How's it going, bud? I think all the soldiers are dead. You probably don't need to worry, Barrett. Barrett, those screams are. Nice try. No, Barrett! No! My turn. No, Barrett! No, it's not. No, don't use grenades on them. Peace. No! Barrett, you're destroying the computers and murdering the technicians. Please, Barrett. I'm sorry that I've led you down this route. 
I never meant for you to turn out like this. Oh God! He's bloodthirsty. No, Barrett, they're cowering. Don't do it, Barrett. No! What have I done? He's a monster! <laughs> oh no. Oh, that one has some bandages. Ooh, and a med pack. Oh, that guy had a chunks pie. Milt Speenbow's 348 just subscribed. Ooh. No idea what's happening, but I hear and happy to be with you all. <laughs> Milt Beanbows, thank you for the tier freaking three for 45 fucking months. Can't take it. Run, run, run before Barrett gets here. He can hear you through the walls. I'm out of here. Run! Wait, we'll take the elevator. Take the elevator. Good grief. Holy shit. Okay, Barrett, you can put the gun away, man. <sighs> Download conduction grid plans. Okay, we got it. Okay, what do I need to do? Lo locate Brayson, Bra Brayson Bayou. Holy fuck. Hey Barrett, everything okay, bud? If you do you get that out of your system? Oh shit. Oh god. Barrett, you fucking ah! Hey Barrett, I need you to be way more accurate with those grenades, bud. You threw it inside the room that we were both in. Wow, this is super bad. Oh, bad choice. Oh God, Barrett's getting, Barrett's getting angry. Have fun. No, don't do this. Don't don't punch me. Run away, technicians. Run away. Do not anger Barrett any more than you need to. Repair not possible. Fair game. I'm out of here. Yes, run. Run before Barrett finds you. Run! You need to get out of here! Run away, I'll block it. Don't worry, Barrett, no one's here. Oh, wow, ow, Barrett! Oh, God damn it. You fucking monster. Look what you fucking, ooh, heal paste. <laughs> Hi there, Brayson. Wait, hold on, you got some cool loot in here. I Just a sec. Look at all the good stuff you got in here. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm encumbered. Hold on, I gotta drop some shit on the ground. Uh, resources. Uh, we don't need any of this stuff. Uncommon, uncommon, common. Exotic, exotic, common. Uh, more common, not rare enough, there we go, there, perfect, hey Brayson, how's it going bud? Stop, please, don't shoot, if you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it, there's no need for all this violence. Give me the cipher first, then I'll consider if anyone's gonna get hurt. Look, there's no need to be angry with me. I I'm on your side. 
I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Um. Yep, yeah, he does deserve everything that's coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Sounds like what old Benjamin needs is a good punch in the nose. Uh, yeah, giving me the cipher is a great way to get back to your brother. Let's go, bud. Yeah, that would be nice. Nothing else would hurt as much. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. Oh! I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Sounds good, bud. Thanks Dusty. again for the talk. Dusty. Oh. Let's talk. <laughs> let's get that. Let's get that fucking cipher, bud. Decryption routine. Bing, bang, boom. Upload system data input. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. A bunch of lore and information. Great. We need to have a chat when you have some time. God, no. Return to Estelle. Okay. Hey, thanks for all your cooperation there, bud. Appreciate you. I took all that shit. There's a shitty arc welder. Nobody gives a fuck about that arc welder. Um, Trade Tower Lobby. Hey, Woo! you might want this. got a minute to right. chat. Maybe a few minutes. Hey, uh, you're not gonna want to go Newell in there, man. Watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems. In me. <laughs> Only a few more hours in this quest line, I'll be done. This is an insanely huge quest line. Holy fuck. This quest line is totally fucking bonkers. Okay. Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Um, if you know why I'm here, then you know what's at stake. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Um... I'll remove it for half that amount. <laughs> Cutting a deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. <laughs> oh, he That's gets me. That's not how I do business. <laughs> oh, he get. I feel so seen. <laughs> Your arrogance is astounding. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Oh, man. Do we have to do the whole fucking threaten each other thing? And don't make me kill everybody. Don't fucking threat. Don't make me do this. Don't. 
Don't make me do this. <sighs> um. <sighs> Who do we fuck over? Didn't Delgado say? If you piss off Estelle? That's right. Thank you. Delgado Hello? said, don't burn Hello? Estelle. Anybody That's there? right. Let's go. It was Brayson. It was Brayson. Brayson did it. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. Well, maybe you can use this situation to turn your brother into a more useful, uh, asset, may you? So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Okie dokie! Take a break. Let's chat. Eh! Going long on a K day, uh, off day? We're just, uh, I, we're just finishing up this little quest here. And then, yes, I will be spending the rest of my day with K for sure. Something for you. No, I don't want it, Barrett. Four more hours. No. Not on a day where K has the day off. I just got back. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, four more hours. 3.75 more hours. You drive a hard bargain. Sounds good. <laughs> this game is so fucking good, right? I legit think you might have four more hours of quest line. I believe it. This this quest is fucking. Oh. Crazy. Crazy big. Okay, okay, okay. And toss back one of our exclusive eh. philosophies. Take a break. <laughs> Let's chat. I'm just saying, a human can be conscious for 15 seconds in space before they get knocked out. It'll be quick for Barrett, and he won't suffer when you jettison him. Listen, at this point, I'm now terrified to do anything to Barrett. Yeah. After seeing what he did to those fucking Try a technicians, yeah. man. Dude is absolutely unhinged. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. He doesn't scare me. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. <laughs> no, I'm just dumb. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done here, bud. Well, I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. Sounds like you fucked up. You knew the risk. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. <laughs> Sounds reasonable enough to me. <laughs> Shut up, Barrett! <sighs> Fuck, I am supposed to, I I do, I think I do, that's kind of a big ask. Yeah, I know, and I wouldn't ask if I wasn't in a bind. I don't want the entire cake, just a slice. I think I deserve it. How much uh, are you willing to part with? Holy fucking shit. I we're supposed to keep her happy, right? We're supposed to keep her happy because 
It keeps the fleet happy, and I do need to keep the fleet happy until we find that legacy. I'm gonna give her 4K. I'm gonna give her 4K just to keep her happy, keep things smooth. This is perfect. It will definitely help. Thank you. Thanks for everything, Estelle. Shut right, up, Barry! I God! Yes, we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send him to talk to me. Aw, the first human being in this entire game that's ever thought positively of me. Tell Neva she still owes Dusty. me a drink for our poker game. Dusty. Yeah. Let's talk. Hey, Barrett, don't call me Dusty anymore. And also, we're not gonna fucking talk. I'm zoned out of my mind right now. <laughs> we need to have a chat when you got time. No, Barrett! Holy fucking shit. All right, let's get back to the boat. Fucking Barrett, man. Holy shit. Dusty! Dusty! Don't fucking talk to me, Barrett. <laughs> we need to have a chat when you have time. God. What's the plan, Captain? Okay, chat with that. We are going to call it for the day, chat. Hey, if you have time, I've been thinking about some things. Wanted to talk to you about it. I cannot handle this motherfucker. I cannot handle this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is happening? What are you doing? Ah! Are you fucking kidding? How fucking dare you? Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Let's chat. Dan, how could you have done this? When you're not busy, let's chat. How could you have done this to me, Dan? Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Tangia Dan. Tangia motherfucking. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Busy? Let's <laughs> chat. Shut up, Barry! Shut up, chat! I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. That's it. We're all done. All done for the day, chat. That's it. That's the end. <sighs> um. Bye, chat. Bye. You bunch of freak. Is it over? <laughs> 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 hey, um, no, when you're not busy. Let's chat. Shut up, Barry. God damn it. Holy fuck, chat. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to be playing some Lies of P. Holy fuck. <laughs> I love you, chat. Do you like our jokes? I refuse to answer that question. Wait, what happened to the raid? Wait, the raid died. Oh, did Nikita go offline, maybe? 
Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. <laughs> Is it under the hype train? The fucking... I'm... Bye, chat! Bye!